So you're all in a tavern, and there's 12 corners. <sighs> I will stand in the center. <laughs> Chris, you're not the DM. Shut the fuck up. Ooh. So you're all in a tavern, and there are 11 corners. Everyone who's not David, mute themselves. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah, David has admin privileges in this channel. He can mute you. Or us. <laughs> what? <laughs> you're welcome, Muted by Tim. the way. Tim did absolutely nothing. Also muting myself now. <laughs> Long ago, in a distant land, I, Aku, the shape-shifting master of darkness, unleashed an unspeakable evil. You, know, you guys make it hard to see after all the shit posting. I mean, we're waiting for you. Just I know, I'm, I'm pulling up my notes. Yeah, oh, well then what are you giving a shit for? All the shit posting. <laughs> Dude, okay. We're not holding anything up. <laughs> Over the last few days, you all have been contacted by a local duke. Uh, Macker, you would know this as one you have worked for previously. Excellent. This is Duke Aaron Beckham. He needs some work done. You all seem like the most competent people in the area to get this done. Uh, you would all be arriving to the Duke's home early afternoon, a couple days after being summoned. How early would your characters like to arrive? Uh, as early as possible, I guess. Punctually an hour early. Uh. I'm sorry. Can, I was trying to figure out how to take notes. I just put his name in the chat. I don't know. It's probably not how you spelled it, but that's how it sounds. Uh, I'd like to be fashionably late. I'll show up with Beckflor whenever he does. Just on time, roughly. I'm going I would to do show my best up. to be as punctual as possible. When, when does he want us there? Good question. Uh, he would want you to arrive uh, like early afternoon. Okay, I'm going to show up at noon. Okay, so everyone gets there early? I want to be first. I'll show up at 11. I'm probably not showing up till like, 1.30. Yeah, like, right, right on time. It's it, it, in the rush, like... I'll be there at 11. <laughs> Don't want to sit there forever doing nothing. Okay, Chris, you wanted to be the first to show up. You'll be the first to show up. Yes, excellent. You come across a fairly well-kept and nice-looking manor. The grounds are kept. There's uh, a nice stone wall around the premises. Uh, fairly large windows. It, it looks like a nice place where an aristocrat would live. You're confident you're in the right place. I believe it was Robert would be the next to show up. I think Maher said he wanted to show up at 11. I was closer to noon. Uh, Macker, you are the next to show up. Please give a physical description of your character as to what person see, and then I'll have Chris do the same. About a six foot three paladin walks in in full plate with an arrow on his uh, shield and arrow necklace with hazel eyes and uh, something else of note. Scar on his neck. Good tidings, uh, Duke Beckham. Um, sorry, you said six foot three? I put something down, yeah, six foot something. You are going to see a four foot two paladin who has an arrow on his shield. Oh, like good tidings, fellow uh, Ar Aristotle follower. Good tidings, Aristotle follower. <laughs> I'm excited for the mission. Duke Beckham's been good in the past to me. Ah, oh, that is good to hear. Uh, do you know why he brings us here? I don't. I uh, hope it's. As good as last time. It's for adventure. <laughs> I think for adventure. Which is always oh, yes. exciting. But what kind of adventure? Are we going underground? Are we going deep into the forest? Are we going to smite the heretics? It always comes down to smiting heretics, doesn't it? God, I love the smell of smiting in the mud. Alright, a little while after you two finish jerking each other off to help <laughs> with smiting it. Uh, Robert, you would be the next to show up. Alright. Uh, confidently walk in, uh, and then I'm gonna say, Hail, friends. 
because this guy's as awkward as I am, apparently. Hey, I'm uh, really so, sorry. I spaced out. I missed the first two introductions. Uh, so Mapper looks like a paladin with arrows as his holy symbol and a scar on his neck. Uh, and he has Chris hazel looks, eyes. And Chris looks like a much shorter, exact same paladin. Is, is he a human? Yeah, I'm a human paladin, yeah. But tall. What's your name? Adric Farmfellow, friend. Of the uh, down south of the river farm fellows, not north of the river farm fellows. I know that distinction isn't important to you, but believe me, it's important. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, as far as description goes, uh, my character is wearing a breastplate with a sword and shield, both of which are uh, in immaculate green. His uh, skin is a like dark obsidian black. Uh, and it's just as reflective as the armor is. His hair is a uh, emerald green matching the armor, and is also just as reflective as the armor. About five foot tall, with shiny emerald eyes. My word, your eyes are stunning. Are I'd like you also look at the ground. ground. I'd like to roll stealth to hide behind uh, the paladin. You mean the real paladin? Okay. You mean Edric Farmfellow? Yes. Not to be confused with the Northern Farmfellow. <laughs> I'll let him finish up with that, but then I would come up to Edric and offer a ha- to shake hands. It uh, looks like the uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood scene. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know exactly the scene. Although right. I'm like a foot shorter than you, but okay. Robert, can you give me a perception check? Yeah. Do, 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 do. That is this one. Okay, so you see the small paladin hiding behind the big paladin. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, kneel down and reach out a hand as well. Like, very obviously towards you, uh, ah, short, short one. one. Ah, well met. I, I see you are also a fan of the sword and the sh- It's the only way to protect ourselves. Do you also enjoy the smitings? Uh... I can't necessarily smite. If you're asking if I'm a cleric, the answer is no. Ah, oh, a shame, a shame, a shame. Not everybody's called for temple life. Hmm. Are you, Carbonus, are you a human? No. No, nah, he's got, like, shiny reflective green hair and dark, shiny black reflective skin. He's definitely yeah. not you. The man made of rocks. What's the name of that race, or should I not know this right now? Uh, I mean, I w- wouldn't necessarily tell you in character, so... I mean, you can look up Oread if you wanted to know, but... Yeah, that's what uh, I thought it was. I would allow your characters to make a Knowledge of the Plains check. Oh, uh, actually, I'd like to take 20 on this. Or just... <laughs> sorry, I'd like to take 10 on this. I forgot that's a thing I can do. Uh, what do you roll if you take a 10? Uh, he doesn't. I get a 20. You get a 20? Yeah, I've got a plus 10 modifier. Uh, so you would know uh, that Carbonix is an Oread. Um, similar to Tiefling, Asimar, Sylph, um, it means that there's elemental bl- in his bloodline. Oh, cool. And after introductions and everything, I'm just going to go, like, kind of sit up against a wall and uh, start reading a book. I would actually have questions for you. Uh, sure. Are you going to ask them? <laughs> well, I mean... You know, <laughs> you know, I read his book. Yeah. Wait, I... Yes, my character would absolutely be asking questions, but, like, do we want to just move on with introduction, or do we want to roleplay me asking Robert a million If you want to just, like, DM them to me on Discord, we can do it that way. Yeah, probably just do that. Okay, so we'll deal with that later. Uh, the next to arrive would be Danor. Danior? Uh, well, yes, uh, you see a guy in, uh... Like a jester outfit, exactly 69 inches tall. Nice. 12, 24, 36, 48. Um, okay. And he walks in uh, with a whip and a backpack. And a pa- uh, pouch on his side, nothing more. Alrighty, mooks, let's get this job over with. What an unusually dressed man. Uh, Ren, you leatherfoot bastard, how have you been? Ren, my name is Daniel. what are you talking about? I'm Dan Yor. Don't stop it with your silly games. No, I'm Dan Yor. You stop. I'm starting um, to feel I look as like if I've Dan been misled. Now, by the way, I have been misled. <laughs> In which Edric realized his party members were like twelve years old. 
I'd uh, I'd get up from uh, the conversation I was having with um with Bren and offer a handshake and introduce myself as insert everything I said a bit ago. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, I'll try I'll try not to wash my hands too often. So just to clarify, out of character, Ori's character's name is Danny Orr. Dan, you're fine. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, Good to meet you too, Whip Wielder. He's more of a friend that uh he's more of a friend than something I wield. I you're understand. More of a friend. I understand being close to a weapon as I like tap the warhammer on the side of my uh armor. Alright, so one more awkward introduction out of the way. <laughs> you're only halfway there. Halfway there. Hey, Shiny, can you stay away from the light? It's blo- It's really too- you're too dazzling. It's just gonna kind of look at you, and then go back to reading a book. So- so Beck and Zell last, yeah? Uh, yeah, Beck and Zell would show up next. Okay. Uh, two quick questions. One, is the Duke actually here? Huh. That's a good question. Hello? <laughs> is, is he present already? We haven't seen him yet. Okay. If you're asking him, it's in character. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's well, not. you guys are all hanging out in front of his house. Okay. okay. Well then, <clears throat> oh, we have not seen him yet, no. Second out of character question, what exact time is it? What exact time is it? Yeah, I don't care about the minutes, but I need to know the progression of time in the future. The exact okay. hour, minute, seconds. So you said you were showing up on time, and they told you to arrive early in the afternoon. So it's like one, like one thirty ish. Yeah, that's when that's when Beck would arrive. Okay, I'll hop along next to him. Please recall, this is the starting town. Right. So up walks. Um, well, he looks like a dwarf. Um, <laughs> so cool. But not quite a regular dwarf. Uh, he's very pale, um, and his skin looks almost entirely like calluses. Uh, he's bald, and he's got um, a red beard that's braided down the, the front in three big braids uh, with a bunch of gems and coins, you know, like, knotted into it. Um, he's wearing, like, this dark gray chainmail shirt that sort of shimmers uh, a little bit red when he moves. Um, he's not carrying any weapons, uh, and the only other thing that catches your eye about him is going to be the armbands he wears. So he has um, blue-green metal armbands in the shape of snakes uh, around both of his biceps. So, next to him uh, is kind of a small, unassuming human woman. And she's just smiling, walking along with him, looking around. She's dressed kind of simply. She's got leather armor. She's got her hair in a ponytail. Uh, she has kind of gray-green eyes. She's got a backpack. Uh, sort of in contrast, Beck is like Almost hunched over, short, sort of squinting, just like beaten down, like even shorter than he would normally be as a short dwarf man, yeah, right? Grumble, like, grumble, grumble. He's squinting <laughs> through like very thick eyelids. Uh, is this a meeting place? Looks like. Yeah. Greetings, uh, wanderers. I'll get up from my reading spot and come over and greet you all. Hello, friends. Uh, if you reach out to Shake, I'll, I'll accept it like everybody else. I'll give you a nod. Hello. That's some damn fine armor. Yeah, it was my dad's. Um, now it's mine. He didn't kill his dad. <laughs> I did not kill my dad. I don't know why I, you would think that, Zell. I should hope not. He said it in a way that was questionable. I did not. <laughs> so I got a Zell down. Well, I should hope not, I say from a distance. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out how to whisper David. Must have been made by some master... Dwarven blacksmith. So I'll catch I'll catch the uh, paladin's eye. Oh, you have a lot to learn. That's not really a polite way to meet people, Beck. <laughs> well, he's standing there with his uh, symbols all over the place. It's a pleasure to meet you, Harry Brewery. I'm Daniel. Harry, what now? Uh, uh, don't worry about it, Cave Hepo. You call me a dwarf. I'm yeah. going. Don't, don't, do don't do that. Say no. I'm gonna look at. I mean, Kabon, no. Why would I ever call you say, that? You, uh, is he not a dwarf? Beautiful. <laughs> uh, uh, the armor is certainly well, armor. Beautiful. Beautiful. No, I'm not a fucking dwarf. Ah, uh, what are you then? Here we go. I'm a dwerger. You're a what? A what? A what? A dwerger. 
Think dwarves, but better. A dwarver? Like the underground ones. That's really the main difference. He's underground, not underground. Better work ethic. <laughs> That's what I've been calling you this entire time. Should we knock on the door? Is that? Is this all of us? Is he gonna come out? I don't know how many people we're meeting. I think oh. if anybody else is this late at this point, we should leave them. This is a good company. Okay, literally no one could possibly be late yet. <laughs> yeah, I have yeah, arrived just now on heard. time, like three hours after all of you. <laughs> David, were we were we notified with how many people should be showing up alongside us? Uh, you were not. But All about right. this time, now that it's actually the time people were supposed to meet here, uh, a maid would come out of the estate. Uh, I'll, I'll wave to her. She'll wave back. She'll go, you must be the adventurers we've summoned. Uh, the master is waiting for you inside. Thank you. Let's make haste. I'm going to slowly start walking. Um, and she will walk you down the path uh, into the estate. The massive tree that hangs over this town uh, sits beautifully in the background. Is it well known what kind of tree it is? Um, not really. It's definitely magical. Ooh. It looks Such enchanting. Such a gorgeous tree. Hey, what kind of tree is that? Other than large and magic. Well, it's the tree. <laughs> There's okay. There's not much you need to categorize it further than that for those who live here. If you say the tree, anyone in town would know what you're referring to. And that makes sense. You know, growing up, we were often told about the tree, but it's not often you get to see it. It is Craighaven's defining feature. Craighaven, you said, is the name? Yes. Craghaven. I guess we're not barking up the wrong tree when we're in this town. That that one is just also made of wood, right? Uh, it is made of wood. Yeah, that's not that impressive. The drag, I like the dragger. The maid is very confused with such questions as to what a tree is made of. <laughs> okay. You guys would be taking it into a fine study. Uh, there's a fire going despite it being early spring. There are a few plush chairs and a modest collection of books and tomes. Uh, you would also note there seems to be a large amount of, how do I put this, artifacts? There's a lot of like really old stuff here. Rusted sword, beaten pieces of golden jewelry, that kind of thing, all prominently on display in the bookshelves. I'm gonna I'm gonna find a spot where I can stand with my back to the fire. Uh, you could stand with your back to the fire. Thank you. Uh, so again, this is Duke Aaron Beckham. If he would greet you all, thank you all for coming. I wasn't actually expecting all six of you to show up. What? Thankfully, I recovered from my hangover. Why wouldn't we? Adventures can be inconsistent. Indeed. Good. Greetings, fair Duke, and thanks again for the kind favor. Good to see you again. Oh, you've met before. Yes, uh, we've had some dealings in the past. Um, wh uh, why is your ranger friend not with you this time, Edric? He decided he was going to s go off the coast and go to the west. Ah. Thanks for remembering him. Fine man, fine man. So, Pice, let's get down to business. Why I've gathered you all here today is one of the scouts under my employ has... Uncovered in an area I think will be very full of artifacts I'm interested in. One in particular. What I'm asking you six to do today is retrieve for me the Chalice of Oziark the Mad. The Chalice of who? Oziark the Mad. Sounds like a reasonable fellow. Well, he wasn't back when he was alive. I was so close. I used an, a Y instead of an I. I had an A instead of an O. I nailed it. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, he always <laughs> does. <laughs> and what, what exactly do you need this chalice for? Uh, my intent is to add it to my collection. Understood. As you can see, it is something I am quite proud of. He'll, you know, gesture to all of his old shit on the wall. 
It is a magnificent collection. It's a lot of old shit. Where is this chalice? That is a great question. We have found what we believe to be his tomb. Um, believe to be unmarked? Uh, marks. Hence why we believe it to be his tomb. I would like to make a couple of knowledge checks. Sure. David, I sent you a message about a perception check I want to do. What is the... Who, who was Ozyark the Mad, and what is his chalice? Come on, say religion. Come on, say religion. Uh, I'll just take 10. I don't need to take 20 yet. So you take 10, so what's the actual result? 20. All of my knowledge skills are plus 10. Okay. I will give you the legend of Ozyark the Mad. Ozyark the Mad was the Duke of Sepulgate 200 years ago. He inherited the title at 17 when his father passed away suddenly. Some say he killed the man, but nobody really knows. He was an ambitious young lord, often leading hunts deep into the Lorraine forest. It was much wilder more, and much more dangerous back then. Every time, he returned triumphant, with more and more treasure in tow. When he was around 30, Ozark suddenly became ill with a mysterious illness. There are no records of what exactly it was. He summoned doctors, healers, and even priests to his estate, offering larger and larger sums of gold to whoever could cure him. This went around for six years. Then one day, he simply stopped offering reward and turned away all the doctors, saying he'd accepted his fate. He never went on expeditions after that. A few years later, he married some pretty young lads from a nearby village, probably would have been forced into a political marriage much sooner oh if his father had lived long enough. Supposedly, he was a fine enough husband and a father to their three sons, but it must not have been a love match for her. When their youngest was only three, his wife hung herself from their bedroom balcony. After she passed, he became much more reclusive and secret. He built himself a fancy tomb to hold all of his treasure when he died, but fired at the people building it every few months. He moved his entire fortune there, sustaining the estate off taxes of phone. Nobody is sure if the mausoleum was finished or if he just ran out of time. Either way, one day all of his children disappeared, and he announced that he wished to dine one last time with his most trusted advisors. They went with him to his tomb, disappeared inside, and never. Oh. And that's the legend of Ozyark the Mad that you would get with a 20. Ah, Ozyark, I've heard the name. I'll relay the, like, Cliff Notes version. Uh, but, like, in the way Bekvar would do it. Oh. Oh, by the way, uh, back far, he looks just like you. Uh, the guy giving you all of this information. Huh. I, I don't know what to do with that. I'm just, I don't know, like, furrowing my brow more, I guess. What a cute trick. <laughs> I'm probably going to like cut through my own face with my eyebrows at this point. <laughs> I am also going to frown intensely while I'm doing this. I'm going to attempt to see through this uh, pretty obvious disguise at this point. <laughs> you, you get used to the fairy giant's antics. The what? I think he called him a fairy giant. You're, you're a fairy giant. I doubt it. Vren is, yeah. No, I'm a Dwergar. No, you're not. Uh, no, he looks like a Dwergar. Is he wearing a hat? DM goes silent. <laughs> Chris, are you wearing a hat? Uh, Tim, are you wearing a hat? Uh, no, I'm not wearing a hat. Are you, do you have like a helmet or something? I have no headgear. He's bald. I need to look something up real quick. I'll get back to you in a sec. Okay, and what about, <laughs> and what about that, Holly? <laughs> As in there's nothing on his head oh, no. that a hat of disguise could possibly be. <laughs> Yes, there is going to be something on my head. Yeah. It's just like a bald cap. <laughs> it's like a like a skull cap, except it's got the same pattern on it as um, the hair or lack thereof on Beckvar. Sure. So like braided intricately. Yes. Cool. So what was the answer to that? Is Chris wearing a hat? Uh, yes. <laughs> so are we capable of noticing when? Um, Ren changes, changes who he's imitating, or does he do that like kind of in like a corner, like when people aren't looking? Uh, he's doing it when people aren't looking, and DM rolling very high stealth rolls. Okay. Okay. 
Just, just asking to, to clarify. As much as it bothers me, one has to admit that is very talented. Could be useful. Uh, but now that you guys have a vague idea of what he's doing, I will give you guys perception checks if it's like you want to be trying to catch him in the act. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I do actually want to see this. Where is perception? There we go. I, I will give you guys a roll the next time he would change. Okay. Ah, gotcha. In the Hi, meantime, he, he looks like that. <laughs> You're fucking dazzled. Yeah, it's too bright in here. <laughs> I wanted to come in out of the sun, but this guy has a fire going. Damn. So why also, big ass window? windows. Understood. Oh yeah, so, uh, my lord, what is the pay? Uh, the pay is, you guys can keep everything you find in the tomb, except for the chalice. I want the chalice. Oh, David, um, what is the chalice? The chalice is... He had this face. He had this big ass, like two handed, golden chalice that is mentioned a few times in the history books about him as like something he would take to like feast. I just want that. Uh, what would a um, result of a twenty on a knowledge check get me? It's a big ass cup. <laughs> it's just a big cup. Are you going for thirty? <laughs> what would a result of a thirty give me? It's a big ass non magical cup. Not sure what you're expecting here. Well, now we know it's it's non magical. Effectively, how far away should the tomb be? Um, We should be able to get you there in an hour. Uh, We've had the scouts form, uh, forge a path through the forest to it. So it shouldn't be too much trouble. It makes sense that that it is within the duchy. Then shall we away? We shall. I don't see why not. But it's not the break of day. We could travel by night. Well, that's the song. We must away ere break of day. Boo. What song? Are you saying this in character? Yes. I imagine that's a real song. Um, from out of character, it's from the, um, The Hobbit, uh, The Misty Mountain. That's why I'm asking if you're saying it in character. <laughs> I was going to say, Vren has a very deep knowledge of modern pop culture, as all bards do. <laughs> it's like the genie in Aladdin. Never heard of it. Yeah, they wouldn't sing that. Uh, with the, pe- the folks you hang out wouldn't sing that. Yeah, their songs are a lot raunch here. Yeah, they were. Those are some good songs. Did nobody else grow up on the hymns of Im- uh, Ar- Aradel? Aristil? Where... Where now? Whichever it is, no. <laughs> Here still. <laughs> I don't know what sort of beat do they have. Beat? Question mark. All right, where are we going? Let's let's walk. Yeah. I figured we were moseying out, out. Just, just kind of, kind of pushing. Yeah, this is how we're going. I assume. <laughs> as you guys mosey out, waiting at the front of the estate is a halfling dressed in green and brown leathers, carrying a long bow. Uh, and a quiver full of arrows. I'll be your guide. Hello, guide. Please. I'm gonna walk up and introduce myself with a hand extended. Don't care. <laughs> Please lead on. Lead on, lead on Bushman. Uh, we will do our job swiftly and without chatter. And he will take you to the tomb. We're going through Lorraine Forest? Uh, yeah. Going I on an animal. My whip. Okay, now I gotta make sure I don't Fuck this up and accidentally just reveal literally the entire map. I oh, believe in way. you. How the fuck do I move? Wait, why are there seven beholders? Oh no. Okay, did you guys go to a blank black map? Correct. Yes. yes. I see the monk Russ monster. <laughs> Shut up. God damn it, not again. It would be nice if you guys didn't shitpost when he's trying to confirm whether or not something on World 20 works. We're still learning the system. All right, I will lay down the shitpost. Like, I, I'm trying not to, to fuck up technology. No, you did it correctly so far. Yep, it's working. Oh, jeez. Should we just not, uh, should we just hide Roll 20 in case, until you say you're ready? No, no, everything's fine. I just accidentally duplicated your token. Well, he can't see our screen, so he doesn't know if it's correct, is the thing. Oh, nice. I can use Cecilia's screen to see what you guys see. Oh, good. Oh, that's oh, really nice. That works. All right. 
All right. I will begin the description of this. So you guys have arrived. Uh, conveniently, there were no combats because you had a guide and on a path. Cool. Woo. Sounds right. good. So you would come across a small wooden door in the side of a hill. Uh, after opening it, this is what you would see. The door opens into a long, dim hallway. Dust shaken free of the door frame meets the moving air for the first time and briefly forms a chalky cloud that drifts sluggishly towards the floor. Ancient gray cobwebs, long since abandoned by their residents, dangle from the ceiling, and the decayed remains of wall hangings on both sides of the corridor ahead. Underfoot, the stone floor is blanketed in such a thick layer of dust that at first it feels soft, like walking upon a lush carpet. A water droplet catches the light as it falls from a hairline crack in the ceiling ahead, landing where an indent in the powder has already formed. Small lumps in the dust near the baseboards indicate where the more ill-fated wall decorations have ended up. Above them, rectangular shadows on the smooth stone show where they had once been displayed. Uh, you would see a plaque on the wall immediately to the left of the doorway. I'd Whoa. go to read it. Uh, it is currently illegible. It is covered in dust. Um, so I would go to swipe wipe some of the dust I, off of it? I, I can do this. Uh, can... I'd like to use prestidigitation to clean it. Okay. Oh. We have used magic to solve a mundane problem. Nice. From a distance, so I don't get caught in the dust cloud. The dust falls away easy. The plaque reads, Let all who know this as the to let all know this as the tomb of Oziark the Ultimate. And here only seek the honor to pay all respects. Dare not treachery to enter, for greatness consumes all petty things. Can I get that as like text? Yes. I'm on it. Okay, Cecilia's got it. Okay, cool. Should we go in? Should be weary. Um, so you would see at the end of this hallway is a large is wooden door. door. Is it dark? Uh, it is dark. There's some light filtering in behind you, but no natural light sources at the moment. Oh, if it's dark, I'm going. I turn I'm ready. on my Ion stone. What does that do? So while he's doing that, I'm going to trundle into the darkness away from the light. Because yeah, it's very bright here. I can go in first. Uh, I can also see in the dark. It's a stone with a continuous flame cast upon it, and it um it and it um floats and orbits around me. I'm going to trundle immediately behind Bekvar. I'll just light my lantern. Uh, you may move your tokens as I mean, for your tokens, move them as you see fit. I'd want to be towards the front if possible. Which one is Bekvar? Yeah. I'm Bek. No, which token? The dwarf. I wouldn't Wait, be I thought in, you wanted a dwarf. I wouldn't be fronty it's, front because right. of my inability. I couldn't find a good token. But I want to be brave and be fronty front. Okay, as you start walking down. Mm. Okay. Hey David, oh. I hate to bother you about this, but um I think your measurement um settings are incorrect. Oh. Uh that's an easy fix. Um if you go to page settings, um you can change it. Um, use, uh, 5e? Oh, it's currently using 5e. Alright, now try it. What's wrong with it? It doesn't calculate diagonals correctly. Oh, it's doing it now. And now Five. 15. Okay. Yeah, it's doing it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, so starting slightly behind Daniel and continuing forward, um, starting 20 feet from the doorway, floor to ceiling mosaic adorn the middle third of the hallway on both sides. Though similarly coated in grime, the stone fragments embedded in the wall have not had their bright colors faded by sunlight. To the left, the mosaic depicts a tall man, scarred and muscular, dressed in fine clothes. He stands with his chest puffed out, one foot upon the head of a vanquished ogre, brandishing in one hand an enormous golden chalice. The other hand is balled in a fist on his hip. In the rolling hills of the background, a white stallion stands fully decked in harness and gilded bar barding. Beyond the ogre, three goblins sneak away, peering over their shoulders at the man. In the mosaic on the right, the man sits alone with a long banquet table, gripping the chalice in both hands as he drinks deeply. Arranged around the table with him are six empty chairs, each one engulfed in yellow flame. 
A pyramid of three severed goblin heads forms the grisly centerpiece of this otherwise normal feast laid out before him. Behind him, seen through the window, a stallion gallops across an open field, free of all adornment and restraint. Certainly he was a humble man. <laughs> and you can see now, at the very end of the hall, a massive tapestry covers the majority of the wall opposite the entryway. Or it would if it were not now a frayed, moth-eaten, mold-covered disaster. Though presumably once a picture of Oziark, it is now little more than a vague silhouette. Uh, the symbolism of his greatness right there. I'm going to move towards it um, cautiously, like watching my step, but also like swiftly, and I'm going to not look like Bekvar. Okay, what are you going to look like? I'm going to look like the ranger who brought us here. Okay, can everyone give me a perception check? Because you were all watching him to see when he would change. <laughs> oh, uh, a quick addendum question. Did the halfling come in with us? No, he dropped you off and then fucked off him. Oh, am I far and enough? we saw him leave. Yes. Am I far enough from Danny Orr's dumb little light to be able to have, like, my vision back? Uh, so you are okay in, like, torchlight and that kind of thing. It is sunlight that bothers you. All right. So that's actually a 22 then. Okay. Riz, what fucking role would this be? Um, stealth? Yeah, I guess. That or sleight of hand? I don't know. I'll let you roll whatever you feel is appropriate, and then you can tell me why that was the correct thing to roll. Okay, all of you notice. Okay, that was not a good... That was a one! Jesus Christ! (laughs) Ah, I see. Uh, My favorite uh, novel villain. Huh. Neat parlor trick. It's been a while since I've worked with a bard. Um, I'm going to move forward and look at the tapestry, like being very, very careful to disturb it as little as possible. Okay, would you like to make, not investigation, a perception roll? Uh, yeah. Is that not a 20? No, that's a 19. Why is that a 19? Uh, I rolled a 19, or I was asking if I rolled a natural 20. Okay. If it was a 20, it would be green. Um, so, guys, I'm going to ask you to like keep your tokens where you would be standing, so please move your tokens as is appropriate. Yeah, I feel like I would have like followed him up as he goes up there. Yeah, if you'd see- actually be standing way at the entrance, please actually be standing way at the entrance. If you would follow him, please follow him. That's going to be important for this whole thing. Um, I assume the tapestry is at the end of this corridor, like the yeah. end of the two tile. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you get that the tapestry would be falling apart to the touch. But you notice, rather than the stonework of the rest of the hallway, there's wood behind it. I'd like to be investigating the walls as we go, just like holding my lantern up to them, um, kind of gently pressing on the stone, feeling if, uh, if it feels like there's any, you know, secret. Can you give me a perception check? Sure thing. Uh, you have not noticed any secret doors. Nice. I would like to cast Detect Secret Doors. Okay. I'm going to read the spell description for this. I can just pop it out for you. That would be lovely. Oh yeah, I forgot that. Okay, oh, first round. There are secret doors. Okay, um, I would like to concentrate for an additional round. There are two secret doors. Uh, where are they? Uh, there's one directly in front of you, behind the tapestry, and one directly to your right in the wall. Okay. Uh... I would like to look at the one directly north of me um, for a third round. Okay, what do you get on the third round? Um, Each additional round, the mechanism or trigger for one particular secret portal closely examined by you. Okay, Uh, it was hidden behind a tapestry. Um, And the one to the right? Uh, It is carefully carved into the wall as to be unnoticeable. Sounds about right. right for secret door. Um, let's go with the one on the right. I don't want to disturb this. I'm going to say this to the party. Let's go to the one on the right. Uh, well, secret the one door on there. The right. <laughs> um, I'll open it. Yeah, if you would. Uh, I'll tell him where the mechanism is. 
And then, and then I'll, I'll attempt to open the door. Okay, you push on the door, and it opens. Do you have a light source with you? I have dark vision. Okay, so you would see... Um, I'll take the first step. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll get to here, and then I'll let everyone know that there's a, a room here. Okay, so... In this room, um, there's a lot of half-finished masonry. Uh, you find things like chisels, hammers, um, unfinished blocks of stone, uh, as well as another door here. Uh, this one is, you know, pretty obvious. Okay. Do you guys want to look around in here, or shall we continue on through this other door? Is there anything in this room? Are there any room? other secret doors? This lasts for uh, five minutes. Uh, there are no other secret doors. Okay. Uh, we should keep going. There's there's nothing else hidden here. What what kind of half-finished masonry is it? Like, was it part of the building? Yeah, it looks like... It's this. It's similar construction material to what you've been seeing so far. This is all stone, right? It's all stone, right, David? It is all stone. Okay. Interesting. All right. Are you going to enter through this door? Yeah, I'll open the door and then head in. Wait. What about the other? Um. I guess he didn't mention the other secret thing. Well, he did say the one on the right, so that implies there is another. But this is the one we're going down for now. I mean, if we're going to work together, we should trust his judgment, at least till he proves it wrong. I mean, there was another door, but it's behind the tapestry, and I don't want to disturb the tapestry yet. Sure. If we don't need to. Very old. All right, you guys would enter into a new room. Do I see a wooden door right here? Uh, yes. Interesting. What could that be? What else is in this room, David? <laughs> I'm sorry, Zell. Do you mind me staying by you as you have the torch? Okay. Uh, sure. It's a lantern, but... Sure. One of my chop liver? Yes. Come on, Dan. You should know better than that silly question. Okay. So, I definitely wasn't listening for the last 30 seconds or something. Uh, uh, what else is here? Character banter. <laughs> yeah, um, it's just what else is here and then banter. <laughs> Okay, so this room seems pretty empty. There's a door here, and you see the door here. Interesting that that door is wooden. Does that look familiar to you, uh, friend? Yeah, yeah, it was a wooden door. That's the same one. Hmm. I'd prefer if we left it alone. Yeah, I don't want to disturb more than we have to in this area. It's also an old wooden door? Yes, it is an old wooden door. It is old, right? That's it what I'm old. asking. <laughs> okay. Well, if there's nothing else in here, then let's venture onwards. Uh, on attempting to open this door, uh, you would note that it is stuck. <sighs> uh, this door is made oh. of stone? Uh, this door is also made of wood. Uh, okay. I don't think this door is stuck, though. So, I'm going to just get rid of the stone around the door. How will you be doing so? Uh, I will be using this ability. Stone Sculptor. Um. Can sculpt Earth in any <laughs> shape as the spell Stone Shape. Neat! Yeah. That's an ability? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. You get, is that like X per day, or you just get that? I just get that. that I, that's like one of three things I can do, don't worry. I'm not OP, I promise. Yeah, 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 I thought a little race was an OP, but like I thought that had a per day use. No, well, so okay. this is this is a class thing. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um. So you take the the frame off of the door. Yeah, basically, I just want to like push it away like two inches in every direction, like out and then up and down too. Okay, the door falls flat. Cool. Um, the door, like upon hitting the ground splinters and reveals much of its decay. Uh, the area behind it 
you noticeably get it is very damp, and the air coming from it is very cold. It's very cold and damp this way. Inspirational, uh, d- dagger, d- dagger, Beckvar, 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 Beckvar. Inspirational, Beckvar. Thank you. I do my best. And you would get that the hallway continues on. And we're getting close to the end of the area I tiled because fucking tiling dungeons is a pain in the ass. No, that's fine. fair. There's yet another drawer. <laughs> Not a very exciting tomb so far, I gotta say. I don't believe tombs are meant to be exciting. This guy seemed to think he was pretty exciting, so I anticipated his tomb being kind of shit. Narcissistic megalomaniacs tend to make exciting tombs. It's true, can confirm. Perhaps it's been... It's possible. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna open the door. door. Cabonics? I'm attempting to open the door. Oh, so the god himself. There's an engraving on the door. Yeah, oh. Sorry, guys, we were coordinating notes. It's all good. So, on the door at eye level, honored trustees of my garden, the bounty of my fruits awaits. Sounds good. Oh, What's that mean? Of my garden? I will copy and paste it into chat. I'm going to look back and just ask, like, is there a reason not to open the door? Oh, there are many reasons, but our quest puts us through the door. Being so... paid to open the door. <laughs> yeah, there was that warning on the outside of the tomb, but... Eh, don't see how there else was, we're going to get the challenge. As long as we don't commit treachery, we should be okay. Unfortunately, treachery uh, probably involves stealing the chalice from him, so... Eh. The chalice uh, belongs to, to the uh, duchy. He had no right to bury it here, so eh, we're giving it back to the duke. I'm not sure no. that's how that works, but... He's that dead. is definitely not how that works. He's dead, uh, he's not going to use it. You attempt to open the door. It is definitely locked. Is, it is this stone? door also made of wood? Uh, yes. It is also made of wood. Do you want me to, do you want me to get this one the same way I did the last one? I'm just going to, like, say hold off a second. David, I'm going to try to cut this door down with my sword. Uh, please roll damage. Okay. Is the hardness more than 20? No. Alright, cool. Right, you have an adamantium sword. Oh, of course, no. I got a nat one. <laughs> Five damage. Okay, so you have an adamantium sword, which means you bypass hardness? Yeah. Okay, so th- you're just going to cleave the door in half. Yeah, that's my goal. All right, you... the door falls apart. You lot have a certainly a showy way of opening doors. <laughs> Consider it an introduction. <laughs> okay. So, to begin describing the room, for an underground structure such as this, at least one built by the surface dwellers, a room this large is an impressive feat. Six pillars support the high ceiling, each carved with an elaborate pattern of vines and leaves. The walls to the left and right arc inward near the top, meeting the ceiling at a low angle. Shallow alcoves in the walls seem to have been imitation windows. Five of the six are still inlaid with thin glass near the point at the top. By looking up, one can almost imagine themselves inside a grand cathedral. The overhead architecture, however, is sadly the only pleasant thing about this place. A mound of stone and metal rubble occupies most of the center of the room. Leaning against the near side of the pile is a marble slab with one jagged side. Nearby, a matching piece lies flat on the ground. The upward surface of both is scuffed and scratched and several corners seem worn down, as if chipped away with a tool or gnawed on by some beast. The floor, too, bears deep and numerous scratch marks, but carvings in the pillars, while pristine at eye level and above, are almost completely torn away from their bases. On all sides, the walls have seen similar ground-level abuse. Oddly, there is no shattered glass piled beneath the ruined faux window. In fact, other than the heap in the center, no rubble or fallen material can be seen anywhere else in the room. In contrast with the rest of the room and the door you enter through, in the far corner from you is a plain metal door lacking any embellishments or even a handle. Sorry, where's the door? The metal one? It can I draw? Specifically it? here. I would like to look around. Is I assume Detect Secret Doors is still on? Uh, Detect Secret Doors is still on. This door is not secret. You can see it. Are there any other doors? 
How? What is the fucking radius of that spell? Sixty foot cone. Fifty foot cone. Sixty foot. Uh, but it is blocked by. Yeah, uh, it, it, it is blocked by walls. Right. So. I'm just looking in this room for now. Uh, there are no secret doors in this room. Can I get a perception check from all of you? Yes, of course. Certainly. This plus one's gonna carry me. Oh, mine is actually a thirteen. I'm gonna turn off my dazzled thing. Yeah, we're underground. This is where you sell. This is not underground. I'm gonna look around at the ceiling and be like, uh... So, the rubble has begun to move. Oh boy. Huh. In what right. manner is it moving? <laughs> uh, so the rubble begins, as a pile, begins to kind of fall apart. And emerging from inside of it is... A horde mass of eyes, mouths, and formless flesh. There's in all directions. It's uh, countless moths yammering ceaselessly. 20 on a knowledge check to know what this is? Uh, this is called a gibbering mouther. Gibbering mouther. What information does a 20 give me about it? Uh, it gives you some of the lore. Should we roll initiative? Yeah, I would roll initiative. But wait just a moment while we, uh... Also, for future reference, if I'm describing what you see in a room, start moving after I finish describing it. Okay. Sorry. Uh, so you would know that this is an aberration. They're disgusting, loathsome, and hungry. These are the only words that properly describe a gibbering mouther. Gibbering mouther. A foul beast that lurks in underground caves, sewers, and nightmares. Mouthers have no societal, ecological, or religious significance other than their, than their ability to drive those that listen to them mad. Some scholars believe that gibbering mouthers are a lesser variant of the much more dangerous Shoggoth, while others theorize that they are punishment by some powerful being or deity inflicted on those who have offended it. Uh, let's see if I remember how to open the initiative tracker. Uh, I think the easiest way is just right-click on one of us and add turn. I should have a Scarbo, so I'm going to step away really quickly to use the loo. We'll kill you off quickly, don't worry. Okay, I've seemingly added a turn for all of you, but I don't see the tracker. Um, did you look at the drop-down options on the... Or not drop-down, but the um, menu options on the left-hand side? I'm looking now. Hmm. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, everyone should be able to edit their their initiative on here. Oh, whenever someone enters theirs, it takes me out of the typing box. I was noticing that. As Type quick. Yeah. And then, David, I think you have to manually uh, reorder them. Yeah, you will. But we should just wait for Maher to come back first. Uh, Chris, what is your initiative modifier? Because we have a three-way tie. Um, my initiative modifier is plus two. Uh, Daniel? Um, plus one. If you guys... Plus two. Okay. So we have plus two, plus one, plus... Two. Okay. Uh, Holly and Chris, can you guys roll off? Just 1d20? Yeah. It was surprisingly <laughs> close. <laughs> I'll go third. Fourth. Uh, I miscounted the people ahead of us. <laughs> Jeez. What? You have six to dex? <laughs> no. Oh, that's I put the point two because I have two dex. Yeah, I put the the six because that's my init. Oh, true. That's a that's a thing. There's a difference. Yeah. That is quite a feat. It's almost like that's my bardic performance. <laughs> All right, so here's what this fucker looks like. Oh, it's the poop emoji. <laughs> Wait, Holy that that huge. Huge. It's not that huge. Okay, that's what I was about to say. Blowing it up so you can see it. It's medium size. Okay, that's far more uh, workable. You guys gonna have to remind me how to play Pathfinder. Does it look like it's one person's like flesh, or is it like multiple fleshes glommed to? <laughs> It's like one glob of flesh, and the mouths and eyes are constantly forming in and out, and then being like reabsorbed into the flesh and reemerging. Somewhat like a flesh ooze. 
Um, it's distinctly not news. Right. It's it's just this horrible aberration ball of flesh. Rude. Unholy abomination. Did you want us to back up into the hallway? Where we should have been this whole time? No, this is fine. Okay. I was I thought I'd be looking around while this was happening, and that's why I kept myself placed there. What is this? Uh, I'm just reading something. This was oh. the easiest way to pull up the text of a spell. I was like, you're not first, mister. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you hit the little gear icon, it'll uh, expand it and you can... Yeah, I know, but like, it's actually it. even less convenient than just throwing it into the chat and then using the like scroll bar functionality. Well, yes, it's less convenient yes, it's for less... you. Bum, 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 bum. I mean, fine, I'll be... Night or something. Remembering that there's a compendium is useful because I have like... Ten Pathfinder tabs open. And, there's a uh, compendium. What? That's how they're sending the spells. There's a little eye um, symbol next to the. Oh, I thought you guys were just like had all typed in the spells the oh. way I had. Fuck. <laughs> oh, Matter, if you uh, I also did that. <laughs> if uh, on the I turn know. order, enter your init. Uh, it's at zero right now. It might as well be. Oh, did you roll? He did. He rolled very poorly. Four. Oh, oh no. But the important thing to remember is I actually rolled a five. Oof. Come on, Oof. you're the first to go. I'm going to run up to it and slice at it with my sword because things like this should not exist. Um, talking is a free action? Talking is a free action. It's, it's a relatively short message. Hey guys, don't listen to it. Uh, 12 to hit. Uh, 12 will not hit. The Fiend. Aberration, not a Fiend. Okay, with <laughs> reference out of character to what Chris said, is it speaking words we can comprehend? Because I thought it was just babbling. Not currently, it is just babbling. Okay, thanks. Uh, that was my turn. Okay. Uh, Beck, you're next to go. Yeah, so I'm going to take a five foot step back, uh, and I am going to Earth Blast it. Uh, and I'm going to take two burn, because I'm going to infuse my Earth Blast with the Entangling Infusion. So. Okay. What you see um, is that Beck's skin sort of gets, starts to be covered in like a little crusting of rock and gemstone uh, and a little bit of metal as well. As he like reaches out and a hand comes up out of the ground made of Earth and like grabs at the, the monster. Okay. I'm going to use my free action to start gibbering. Gibbering. I'm never going to read that word right. <laughs> uh, can everyone within 60 feet of me make a will save? Is this a mind-affecting ability? It is. Everyone that's in the green circle, you get a plus one. I can't see the green circle. Oh, really? Is that just... It only shows it to me. <laughs> so, oh, Beck, Daniel, and Adrian. Uh, can you see the yellow one? Nope. No, can't see any circles. Aw. Uh, um, I believe I can make your orders visible. Uh, nope. Okay. Uh, well, any, everyone who's ten feet from my character, then. Gets I thought the aura was... Everyone who this circle touches. What do we get? Plus one to the will save. Okay. Okay. Saves oh, me. Wow, that was lucky. And then, David, is this a spell Including or spell-like ability? Uh, this is a supernatural ability. So, no. Double check in here. Ooh, yeah, rolled phenomenally. That was a four. Okay, sorry, I feel silly. Where do I click on it to make it go? <laughs> uh, you just click on the word will. I did the same thing. Okay, I clicked. Down okay, down cards. there. Okay, on the face. This one plus one. I got a 23. Okay. So, Adric, Beckfar, and Vren. So, Beckfar, your, your attack is still going on. Okay. Um, so, the three of you here in your head, we didn't know. The children. And then more blah blah babbling. Uh, all of you are confused for one round. Oh boy. All, all of us? Even the ones that pass? Uh, no, the three that fail. So Edric, Backbar, and Brad are all going to be confused for one round. The rest of you made the save and never have to make this save again. Sweet. Great. Oh, that's some fucking BS. Really? 
Did I hit? Okay, so Tim, what does your your attack do? So it is a ranged attack. Um, it is a weapon, but I am not wielding it. Okay. Uh, I rolled a 27 to hit. Okay, that'll hit. Okay, and then I rolled a 15 for damage, but I get plus one because I now have one burn. So okay. 16 damage. And this is bludgeoning damage? Uh, it, sh- it can be whatever I want. So yes, this time it will be bludgeoning damage because that's what a fist is. Okay. Okay. Um, David, quick question. Would this be a time when counter song would have been useful? Uh, it is not a song, so no. A sound effect, you mean? Uh, it is a sound effect, yes. Too bad I don't have that ability, so... Uh, okay, so... I have dealt damage to him, so he is entangled for one minute. Okay. Uh, Tim, question for you. Uh, in the description of the entangling infusion, it says if both already entangled by this infusion and failed to save against it a second time, is this supposed to have a save? Yeah, don't I get a reflex save or something? Uh, the foe can remove this condition as a standard action with- it's in- it's in the paragraph above. Yeah, but it doesn't say anything about a save, except in the second paragraph. I'm asking- Oh, saves against my kinetic blast. Okay. Uh, kinetic blast is this one. I don't think you get a save, because it's just an attack. Um, but I know that my spell save DC, as calculated by the character sheet, is supposed to be- Oh, I see. Okay, so Earth Blast is level 1, so that'll be a 15. Your DC is 15. Okay, so it is a save? It, it's a save, it's a 15. The Earth Blast doesn't have a save, but the Entangling Infusion does have a save. Okay. Yep. Uh, I will make the save, but barely. Then you are not entangled, and I end my turn. Okay, so it is going to go. Alright, so first it is going to spittle. Each round is a free action. I can spit acid. Uh, I'm going to spit acid at Vexlar. That's fine. So I'm going to make a ranged attack on you. As an attack of opportunity, I'm going to give Vexlar a plus two to shield. Uh, this would not provoke an attack of opportunity. Okay. No, of what? That's... A swift action? No, I can do it as an attack of opportunity. I have a feat that says I can spend an attack of opportunity. Sorry. So I, I'm using up my attack of opportunity to put my shield in the way. Yeah, but okay. it doesn't provoke an attack of opportunity. So he's, he's, he's giving he's up the so ability so to good. attack of opportunity later to do this as a swift now. Okay. Yeah, yeah my bad. It's an immediate action, but it's, um, it uses up my attack of opportunity. That was very poorly worded on my part. Okay, uh, so does 17 hit you? A 17? No. Okay. So you are not going to get covered in acid. Okay. Wait, I thought you usually get attack of opportunities if you do ranged attacks of people. This is a special ranged attack that does not provoke an attack of opportunity. Okay, cool. I remember Pathfinder. Let's see. What would it do next? Okay, so it's going to attack people standing next to it. Okay, so for some reason it really doesn't like Adric, so it's going to attack Adric with three separate bites. I don't think Adric has a name on here. Is that Maher's character? That is not Maher's character. Okay. Maher, can you change your Discord name to have your character name in it? How do I do that? Let's I'll do it. You right click on yourself, there's a rename thing. Maher, what is your AC? 21. Okay. Uh, so I will get three hits. So you are going to take. You're going to take seven points of damage. Uh, and then can you give me, uh, what is your combat maneuver defense? Oh, uh, how do I find that? Oh, that's seven. Oh, that's bonus. Where is combat maneuver, maneuver defense? Next to spell resistance below it? A 16. 16, yeah. Okay. Uh, so it will, exceed, it will succeed the grapple on the second bite. Uh, and I need to make sure I know how this ability works. It says it functions like an ability, but I don't know how that works. Okay. So that would be... Next turn. All right. So let's see. You've been bit, and then I get three more attacks because I got some. Oh, and I succeeded my grapple check. So, oh no, nope, that's also the start of the next turn. All right. Sorry, I'm less prepared than I thought I was. You're fine. Um, two more attacks. These are both on Robert. Okay. Um, I don't need to know your AC. I'm gonna miss both. Sweet. Uh, and then one attack on Daniel. Um, I'll give him a plus two to AC. Ah, uh, yes. 
Can you do more than one immediate action? Uh, immediate actions are basically free. I thought it was a swift action. This is immediate action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, immediate action is a free action that has to be triggered. I have a swift action as well. Um, um, it's going to miss Daniel. Oof! I, didn't, I couldn't handle that lip service. <laughs> I get it. Alright, that'll be the end of the Mowler's turn. Uh, next on the initiative order. Chris! I'm confused? Yes! Let me pull up the confusion table. It's himself in confusion. It's himself in confusion. Oh yeah, no, please. Please pick that one. I'll fucking miss. Alright. Confusion. All right, let's roll a D100. All right, Chris, will you roll a D100 for me? 56. Deal 1D8 points of damage plus strength modifier to yourself with the item you are holding. Wait, I'm not holding an item. Well, you're going to punch yourself in the face. For 66, you said? For 1D8. Holy shit, well, that's so much! Plus your strength modifier. This is bullshit! I can't hit that hard! Plus your strength modifier. Please tell me you have a negative strength modifier. I sure do. <laughs> nice. I have dealt three points of damage to myself. Okay. Uh, that is the end of your turn. You are no longer confused. Oh boy, I can't wait to get confused next turn. Just make It's a will save. Just make it. Holly, <laughs> you're up. Okay, so was it grappling um, Adric or no? It is grappling Adric. It's okay, and it's still on the table while it's doing that? It's like where this table used to be. Okay. It's a big mound of rubble. Um, I guess I'll go here then, so I don't have to stand on the rubble. And, um, on my dagger and attack it. <laughs> Alright, we're going knifing. E. Uh, 11 will not bypass its AC. As you kind of stab into it, and it seems to just, like, morph around the stab. Hmm. Interesting. Same to you. Hey, that's how some people pronounce my name. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh, Daniel, you're next. Alrighty. I step... Five foot step back. Who, who's being grappled again? Uh, Maher. Maher, can you put, like, a grapple token on you just so I'm aware? It's a wrench. You grapple things with a wrench. Uh, technically that's a spanner. It's a spanner. You grapple button. things with a spanner. <laughs> You're co you're are you Kabonix or Adric? I forget now. Adric. Yo, farm boy, you need any help? Ma 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 ma. I'm also confused. <laughs> <laughs> That's what confusion sounds like. <laughs> sure. No, I'd be confused if I heard him say that. <laughs> Good role play. Alrighty. Um. Uh, all right, y'all. Don't worry about this. He's just uh he's just all li uh all lip and we need to keep a stip off her lip to keep the uh keep fighting this guy. <laughs> I am inspiring courage. Okay. You guys all have courage inspired. Plus one to saving throws against fear. Plus, plus two. one to attack roll. Plus two. Uh oh, you're level five. Or why don't you tell him what it does? Uh sure thing, David. For this uh for Several rounds only. My performance bolsters my allies against peers and improving improves their combat ability. They gain uh, each ally receives a plus two bonus on saving throws against charm fear effects and plus two competence on attack and weapon damage rolls. Inspire courage can use audible or visual components. Did you say okay. plus two? Plus two. He's a good bard. Oh damn! They're all good bards. Hey. All right, uh, Daniel, will you be doing anything else with your turn? I don't believe I can. All right, I will go to Adric. Please roll me a d100, as you are confused. Uh, I just want to make sure, if I do a five-foot step, I can't do any other moves, correct? The five-foot step is a move action. 53, attack oh yourself. Oh boy, so close to not plus doing that. Mod. It is, uh, third, I don't want to get this wrong, that'd be rude to you. Three, I believe, I think it's plus two strength. Get wrecked. It is three. Wait, what's your strength mod? Plus two. And I am still grappled. So you guys just see me whack myself with a hammer. 
But you're no longer confused. What did he mean, the children? What did he mean, the children? I told you not to listen to him. Okay, but what children, though? He said, having also listened to him. I'm going to shout out, unhand him, you fiend. As I slash again with my sword against his face. Did you add your plus two? I think it automatically added it. It's an apparition, not a fiend. Uh, 14 will not hit. Okay. Damn, it's uh, good, I think I'm gonna move to here. If I, assuming I can be up on this rubble. Uh, yeah, you can. Okay. Then, yeah, I'm gonna be up here. Okay. Yeah, cool. The, the buff can, if you add buffs, like, just doing plus one attack as part of the buff just automatically updates your, uh, your rolls. Neat. I'm not gonna use that. Oh, I shouldn't... Can I... Do I inspire myself? Yes. Alright, uh, Beck, I believe you were confused? Uh, I am confused. Alright, please roll me AD 100. 27. Uh, you battle incoherently. Alright, um, what kids, though? <laughs> like, I really want to know about these kids. What All the squares, the squares make a circle. That's pretty All coherent. All the squares make a circle. Alright, Beck, you are no longer confused. Cool. I have no idea what he's talking about. Now the gibbering mouther will go. Alright, uh, Adric, you were grappled, so two things happen. The first is, you're going to take 1d4 points of bite damage for being in its mouth. So it takes two damage. Uh, and then take one point of constitution damage. Oof. And you said what? Take one point of I constitution heard. damage as your blood drains. Oh man, there goes that blood. Damn, he's gonna be as pale as you soon, uh, Bethlar. Um, and then I need to make sure I know how this works before... Alright, so I'm gonna make a new combat maneuver check. What's your combat maneuver defense? Still 16. Okay, I will succeed by one point, And it will swallow you whole. Uh, what? Imagine getting bored in the first session. So it will engulf you. You're going to take damage every round. The amount and type of damage varies, given the statistics. Swallow, you keep the grappled condition. But the creature that did the swallowing does not keep the grapple. Do, 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 do. Can he escape? Uh, yeah, he can try and cut his way out. And if he does, I won't be able to swallow him again. Except I'm a gibbering mouther, so I will be able to. <laughs> um, an engulfed creature is trapped in the gibbering mouther's body, where several of its mouths continue to feed and drain blood. The gibbering mouther can engulf only one foe of its size or smaller at a time. Uh, if the engulfed creature cuts its way free, so a mouther simply flows together again, it can still use its engulf attack. Um, there goes my grease idea. Uh, it's also going to give her. So everyone who failed the save previously, give me another save. If you've made the save, you don't have to roll again this combat. Okay, do we get the bard bonus to this one? Uh, it is not a fear effect, so no. Oops. You do still get my plus one, though. Mother! Okay. I've rolled two fours on these will saves. Oh, that's oh, real bad. Really so have I. You guys are not doing too well um, this, I, I gotta say. I cast uh, Timely Inspiration on to Edric. What does Timely Inspiration do? I can, uh, as a immediate action, get somebody to re-roll their save. Uh, save. Edric, please re-roll your save. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, the Gibbering will commence. Those of you who failed here, not our fault, but we ate it. You can't eat the children. Um, so, Beckfar and Bren, you guys are both going to be confused. Uh, Edric, you don't have to make the save again. Uh, so, as a free action, I'm going to spit acid at... You're confused, you're confused, you're in melee, you're in melee. Daniel, does a 20 hit you? It does. Alright, so you are going to take no damage... It doesn't deal damage. Uh, wow. But please give me a fortitude save. Daniel? Sorry. I'm going to cast Timely Inspiration on myself. Okay, immediate action. Please reroll your save. Okay, oh, I will well, still fail the save. Uh, so you are blinded for two rounds. Luckily, that doesn't... Re uh... Oh man, I know exactly what I'm going to do in my turn. I will give you this eye to let you know you are blinded, and we'll just use the nuclear radiation for confused. Seems appropriate. A fun thing about PC gen is I can literally just add them, add the conditions onto me. And yeah, it's it happens. also built into the character sheets on here. 
Neat. Uh, okay, so I also get my attacks this round, because everything else has been free action. God damn it. Um, so we're going to go... Yeah, welcome to fifth level. Combats are hard. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to five foot step, taking Maher with us. Stupid four. <laughs> we're going to make three attacks on... Forgetting your name. Robert. Kabonics. Kabonics. Uh, we will hit Robert once. We will make one attack on Holly. We will miss. We will make two attacks on Beck. And let's see what your AC is. Those are questionable. Oh, I, I guess I didn't say fast enough. Never mind. Do the plus two. I'm not going to retroactively do it if you've already rolled an attack. I have rolled, but I haven't said what the rolls are. Do you okay. want to give him AC? Uh, I had moved here with the intention of giving um, God, uh, Zell additional AC. Uh, the plus two from my immediate action, and then also plus two from um, my attack of opportunity uh, feat that I was thought I was using earlier. Okay. I, one being a shield bonus, and the other being uh, just uh, eight another, which I guess I have to roll for. So, plus four to AC. Uh, okay. Uh, so Zell will not be hit. And then Beck AC is just high enough to avoid taking any damage. Sweet. Um, so, Robert, you're going to take three points of damage. What is your combat maneuver defense? 20. That's a really good combat maneuver defense. You are still grappled. Okay. You said three points of damage? Uh, yes, only three. Okay, that's fine. I'll allow it. Uh, and that will be the end of my turn. We'll go to Chris. Ren Black Swarm, you're up. I jumped the gun a little bit. I rolled a 48 earlier because I thought you were done with your turn. Oh, right. Uh, you babber incoherently. What would you like to babber? Uh, the same thing that I heard. Ah! Just didn't mimicry. Know. We didn't know. I will remove my confusion token. Yep. Uh, Holly, you're up. Okie dokie. So as a move action, I'm gonna have some kind of protoplasmic blobs erupt from my, like, scapulas, and then they're gonna sort of coalesce into these blades that appear to be made of some sort of jelly substance. And then I'm gonna try and grapple it. What the hell? <laughs> We're gonna grapple it? Okay. Please it's slashing damage, by the way, but the grapple will just be grappled. The, the blades. So it'd be, what, a d20 plus bab plus... CMB plus any other grapple bonus? Yeah, so your CMB is a D20 plus any specific grapple bonuses plus... I forget how to calculate CMB. Well, I have the CMB on my sheet, but I mean to grapple. Do I add my BAB or no? Just CMB. Uh, you don't. It should, it should already okay. be included in the CMB. It is. It is. Okay. It wasn't my best grapple attempt. <laughs> okay, you will not succeed the grapple. I had so much going for me. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna continue trying to look menacing. <laughs> Alright, you look hella menacing, I assume. I'm thoroughly impressed. Uh, Daniel, you are currently blind and playing music. No, I'm telling jokes. Oh, right, you're telling jokes. Uh, also, I didn't realize this, but my saving fin- I actually didn't cast saving finale on myself. It- I literally end my bardic performance. Uh, so Bardic Performance lingers for six rounds. I I have Lingering Performance, so yes. Um, I, Bardic Performance lingers normally. I think Lingering Performance makes it better. Okay, cool. Alrighty, I will, um, uh, I will do Dazzling Display. Okay. So I make an Intimidation check, and all foes within, to try to demoralize my foes, uh, thir uh, within 30 feet of me. Okay. I assume I get a save? Or no, this is an intimidation check. What was the name of your spell again, Ori? Uh, it is not a spell. Oh, you're just yelling at him. Uh, it is a, um, it's a feat. Okay. Well, what's the name of it? Uh, dazzling Display. The reason why I'm doing this instead of a regular intimidation check is I don't know where he is. What? I nearly I took that feat. This is my entire build. Just wait until I use what the actual thing I want to use it for. Okay. You have succeeded. The Gibbering Mouther is demoralized. Do I have a guess of where he is? You can guess. So blind means you have a 50% miss chance. I just want... No, I, I already used my action. I just want to know if I can step back without getting hurt. 
Uh, you could take a step. Dazzling displays a full round. Oh, Dazzling displays a full round action, apparently. Oh, oh my bad. So you get no move action, and we go to Adric. Do you guys know if it counts as undead? I scream across the room. While covered in gibbering mouther. While covered in gibbering mouther. I respond uh, by babbling incoherently. Oh yeah, the one guy who would know. I wouldn't bet on it, but I'm not sure. So I guess I'm gonna swing at it with my magic hammer. Okay. Specifically trying to like get out. So not slash, but push out. Um, you would have to cut your way up is how it's worded. But you can hammer it from the inside. Uh, so please roll damage, or roll to hit. Um, so you're 20, is that including the plus two from Bard Song? No, it's not including the plus two. Okay, a 20 will hit. Your plus two from Bard Song and minus two for being grappled. Didn't mean to do it the second time. So it hits? Yes, please roll damage. Wow. Okay, it takes it. Uh, you get the feeling that bludgeoning damage is very effective against this. Is that sarcasm? No. You, you get the feeling that bludgeoning damage is effective. Guys, bludgeoning, bludgeoning damage is very effective against this. I guess I'll try to kick it with my foot. He, he is still inside it. And that's Adric's turn. Alright, yeah. So, Carbonic. can we see, like, with him being inside of it does it appear to have changed shape at all or is it more like a kirby situation it's kind of a kirby sort of thing huh. you can occasionally see one of adric's limbs sticking out as it continues to rise how does like attempting to sunder part of a creature's body work in pathfinder is it just an, a minus four like it is in uh D &D? Uh, yes unless you have improved thunder i don't I want to try to sunder, like, the top of its head off. Its head? Well, like, the yeah. top of the mound of flesh, uh, in an attempt to give Maher maybe a better opening. Okay, I will let you attempt it. <laughs> uh, so, so that's twelve. not what I'm in for. Yeah. So, no. Yeah. Okay. And then, I don't think I want to move either. I'm good. Yeah, I mean, you're still grappled, so you can't move. Oh, yeah, I totally am. I forgot about that. Okay. I'll give myself an icon so I can remember that. Uh, Beck. Uh, I am confused. You're on push to talk, friend. I am confused. Yes. Please roll a d100. I think I just... I think I just closed the game in my character sheet. Oh, no. So no. very confused. <laughs> yeah, you definitely closed the game. Hit, hit alt f forward and not be confused anymore. That now 100. <laughs> well, I need to change my push to talk about me a minute. I did the same thing. I set it to back, and it knocked me out of the game. <laughs> this is why I push do it on alt, so I can't accidentally, like, disturb anything, like, pressing Z a bunch of times into a, uh, sheet or something. Okay. Is this working? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so I am confused. Yes, please roll a D100. You want low. It's Whoa. lagging. I did, yeah, I did send the roll. roll. Not low. Tim, Tim, that is the opposite of what he just said. No, it's fine. Okay, please give me a D2. You want a 2. 2. That's a 2. two. Alright, you're going to attack the nearest creature. Uh, the 2 is you're going to attack the mouther. <laughs> oh, one was me. <laughs> so, uh, what, so what attack do I use for that? Like melee attack. So you're gonna punch it. Okay, I can't. I'm trying to get my character sheet back open. Hold on. Oh fuck. Okay. Uh, night. <laughs> Nineteen will hit. Sorry, it's it's not working. I'm very much lagging. Why three? Oh, because it's oh, because it's lagging. Yeah, he clicked it too many times. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. How many more times? So Tim, maybe don't take your aggression on, of the lag out on the button. <laughs> Alright, so 19 will hit. Please roll unarmed damage. Assuming you're not wielding a weapon. I don't own a weapon. What is unarmed damage? Uh, it's gonna be like a d3. Plus strength mod. Four. Hell yeah. Bludgeoning damage is effective. Is this uh, obvious, or... Is it something you have to hit hit to know? 
When, when you hit it, you figure it out. Okay. Uh, if you hit it with a slashing weapon, you'd realize it just kind of reforms over the slash. I hope I'll figure that out. If I can ever hit it, Seems that would be familiar. really nice to know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the Malder is going to go. So first thing first, I have an engulfed creature. Or actually, first thing first, gibbering. So for people who have not made the save yet this combat, please give me a will save. Please. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Tim. First one's 18. Uh, do you want to give Tim a reroll, Ori? <laughs> Um, I'm, I currently don't have a performance up. That's fine. I'm so sorry, Tim. No, it's fine. <laughs> okay. It's a uh, very confusing situation. Yeah, Bren, you're not going to have to make the save ever again. Also, question. If I can't see a person, can I give them what I have been able to anyway? Uh, I don't know. And I don't want to have to answer that question right now. All right, so I have an engulfed creature. So you are going to take... Already added the damage. Huh? Oh, no, you're going to take a lot. Um, I have to get more dice. Hold on. Are, are you serious? Wait, I can just roll in roll 20. <laughs> I think there's a DM roll specifically if you don't want to roll it publicly. I want to scare you guys a little. Oh, no. That's Count a lot. <laughs> I'm not so you're scared. going to take 15 and 2 points of constitution damage. Now I'm scared. My health adjusts to uh, lose constitution damage, right? So every time your constitution modifier would drop, you lose one HP per hit die. Crap, I have to do math now. Okay. Still standing. Okay. It's gonna spit acid at Holly. I'm gonna attempt Yay. to give her plus four. Yeah, so you have plus four AC. Holly, what is oh, your boy. AC after the plus four? 19. Okay, it is going to hit. You are blinded. I'm going to step in front of it. God damn. Uh, with in harm's way and take the damage instead. Okay. I also take all of the effects instead. Robert, you are blinded for three rounds. What kind? I hate to be Tim, but Robert, can you do that while you're grappled? Uh, the Mauser let go of the grapple to bite the en engulfed fellow. I think as long as I'm adjacent, it would it matter? It doesn't say. It wouldn't say, I guess, but that would be up to David. E either way, it doesn't matter. You are no longer grappled. Yeah. And I get blinded. All right. Oh, and I should also remove the grapple token if I'm not grappled. All right. Um, you guys should probably save your friend, by the way. Trying. <laughs> Trying. Yeah. We're not, we're not friends. We just met. We're, we're, we're not include... rolling too good out here. <laughs> David, did it include the... um? Uh, demoralized. So demoralized is he's shaken. Um. Oh, actually, based on how how much it cha things change. So nothing would have changed because he doesn't have to make the attack rolls against Maher. Um. And then the the acid would have hit either way. Cool. Um. So that's the end of the Bowser's turn. I can finally solve the gibbering mm -hmm. solution now that yeah. the person's affected. Uh, please give me a DC 17 will save, David. Fail. Uh, silence. Okay, I am quiet as fuck. Quiet as fuck, boy. Wait, am I in that cone? Nope. Um, it's just those four squares. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to be very confused. Not status-wise, but just like, there was darkness and loud noise, and now there's silence. Did we kill it? Uh, Beck, it's no longer producing the sound. You are not going to be confused on your turn. Wait, really? I'm not still confused? You're not still confused. Amazing. Wow, it's, that's... Or, are you being affected by the continuous effect? Uh, so because it got silenced, there's no more gibbering, you're fine. Cool. Does that mean I'm not blind anymore? No, that's acid, not a sound-based effect. Hurts eyes. Bad. Uh, although your next turn will be the last turn you are blinded. Bren, is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, yes, actually. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> good plan. Zell. Okay, I sent, I sent you a question in Discord, but basically, do I roll twice for both of my natural attacks? 
Uh, form you, two as a move action? Uh, yes. So with natural attacks, roll at your full base uh, at your full attack bonus for each of them. Okay. okay. I'm gonna try and hit it for real this time. I mean, I was trying for real before, but I'm gonna pretend I wasn't. I'm assuming that's a miss. Uh, that will be a miss. Give that's it a second a, one. That's a critical fumble. Uh, it's a natural weapon, so you can't crit fumble. Oh, nice. And 23 will hit. Please roll damage. It's already in there. Oh, it is. Uh, it will take five. less than full damage. Okay. Uh, you get the idea that it might have DR. Ah. You can change your thing to Swift, right? Get slashed and then it reforms where it was cut. Okay. No. Uh, as my move action, I'll form uh, two more natural weapons. This time, this time they'll look a little more blunt. <laughs> okay. And this is replacing your your two. Yeah, you can mm -hmm. only do it at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so the, those kind of two will kind of shrink, back, shrink into back into me while the other two come. Oh my okay. gosh, you're a shifter! Oh my gosh, you're a shifter! She has two jelly maces. Uh, Daniel. <laughs> I'm blind. Um, honestly, don't know what to do. Like. Um, like, can I, can I cast a spell on someone where I don't know? It depends. Does the spell have requirements for line of sight? Yeah, it, it depends on the spell. So, yes, you can cast spells where you don't know where the target is, if it's like an AOE. Okay, um, hmm. Alright, I'm just gonna try to hit it. Sorry, that's a 17. I forgot to add my own insp inspiration. Um, a... 17 will not hit. Damn. 18, 19. That's my turn, by the way. Okay. Uh, Adric, what do you want to do? So, hypothetically, can I present a holy symbol while uh, in the situation I'm in? I would allow it. I'm going to try to break the grapple still. I still That seems like a bigger priority. What, what do I roll for that? Is it an attack or... So you're engulfed, which is significantly worse than being grappled. You can't roll to break it. You have to cut your way out. I'll swing at him again and uh, get ready to try to not die. Uh, from inside, 16 will hit for 5 bludgeoning. I rolled a 2 for damage, not to, to hit. Oh, uh, it has your damage listed in the attack roll. It says 5. No, no, I know. I'm saying like I rolled a 2 in a very angry way. On a d8, he means. Uh, oof. All right, harmonics. Okay, you said it's a fifty percent mischance. Uh, well blinded. Yeah. All right, and no one has said not to slash at it, so I'm going to uh slash where I saw it last. Do, <laughs> and still roll terribly. Oh, you have to roll the fifty percent mischance first. Oh, okay. Okay. Which would miss? So you're gonna miss, and then you're gonna miss. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm not going to move either. I'm in a good position. Back will be the next to go. Cool. So I'm going to pull some of the floor up around me um, as, as though it were part of my flesh. Uh, as though I was using this spell to gain uh, 4 DR adamantine. Uh, and then I'm going to try and ah, like, wait. Don't push to talk if you're trying to say anything. Mother of God! <laughs> <laughs> We're so sorry. Except well, I have to change my push talk button again because it yeeted my character into another dimension. <laughs> okay, test. Okay, we can hear you. Nope, that broke my game too. Hold on. Use whatever button Holly's using. She's AFK, unfortunately. Yeah, she'll be back shortly. So we have different setups. <laughs> and I can't just use whatever button she's using. I think I'm good now. Um, so what I was saying is that Beck is going to reach down to the earth and pull some of the stone up around his body, uh, and he's going to get DR4 adamantine um, as that spell I linked. It's not a spell. Okay. It's an ability, but I linked it. Um, and then he's going to try and wade into the gibbering mouther to grab... You're a human, right? The human who's stuck in there. Yeah, human. Yeah. Can you give me a bull rush attack? A bull rush attempt? Yes, I can. Is that just... Is that just... Wait, what is that? That is a combat maneuver. 
Okay. Um, that will beat my combat maneuver defense. Uh, so you are able to push Adric five feet. Cool. So I want to push him out the other side of it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. But that is my turn. I don't have anything else. Okay. Um, we'll go to the Mouther. It's disappointed it didn't get a kill this turn. Can't give her because it's silent. Gibber. Okay. So it's going to spit acid at back. As you do. Uh, can you give me a fortitude save? Yes, one moment. Okay. You succeed. You're not blinded. Nice. Um, it's then going to... It's going to attack. It will not confirm a critical. I'm just going to use the Roll20 roller. Man, who would have thought Saturday night and Roll20 would be laggy? <laughs> yeah. Saturday night during the quarantine. That's a lot of D20s. Yes. So the first one is going to be a miss. Holly, what's your EC? The second two are on you. Um, so my regular AC, I assume there is. Robert, are you passing out any AC bonuses as it lashes out at everyone I, around you? I can't see, so I don't think I would have been able to. Okay, okay just making sure. 15! Uh, 15. Looks so like we'll the, third one. the third one like looks like a winner from its yeah. perspective. <laughs> It'll hit you twice. It'll hit Beck once. And then, Adric, what's your AC? None of those hit me. Uh, 21. Well, they're not just raw D20s. They're... Oh, okay, fair. Oh, I see. I was going to be like, why did the 12 hit me? But it, you're adding stuff to it, I get it. Yes. And then what did you say your AC was, Adric? 21. Okay, so it will not hit you. Um, so rolling damage. Robert? It looks like blinded lowers your, uh, your AC as well. Holly? So if I have DR4, I take none of that? You take one. I take one, okay. Yeah, DR can't reduce to zero. Uh, and then it's going to make grapple checks. On whom? On all of you. Ooh. So against Robert, what is your combat maneuver defense? Uh, it's at 16 because I'm blinded. That's a big oof. So it will fail to grapple you. It will fail to grapple Holly. Oh, I didn't even need my great CMD. <laughs> uh, and then I believe it will grapple back. Is your CMD north of 20? It's 17. Okay, it will grapple you. You just yeeted your character <laughs> off of the map. He's back. You're He's back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're going to be grappled. Damn, this... Yeah, blinded has a lot I of downsides. Grappled. More than just yeah, the... Who would have thought? <laughs> Blinded sucks. Yeah. All right, that's the end of his turn. Thank goodness. Oh, skipped his turn, but Ren. Wait, I realized you... that, um, crap. Who's the one to the right of the monster? He's silenced. Uh, Adric? Or Adric? Adric is silenced. Oh, yeah, because he was under, he was on the monster's square when the silence happened. Adric, can you give me a fortitude save against Chris's spell save DC? It is an area. Maher? Yeah. Can you give me a fort save? Because you're inside um, the I, silence. I hit, I hit the spell. button. Oh, it's, oh, it's not. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, the lag. 12. All right. I believe I'm just going to assume that's fine and move on. Chris. Okay. Hello? It's your turn. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. I guess you can't hear us. No, I can. It's just I was saying stuff and no one was reacting to it. Well, we didn't hear we any of the previous stuff. Now. Hello, can you hear me was the first thing that came up. Oh, um, silence is a will save, not a fort save. Oh. Do you want to give me a will save, Adric? Hey. Hey, that's much better. You just flipped the numbers. What the heck? What a hacker. <laughs> uh, how healthy does everyone look? I'm fine. I'm not. How yeah, not are you? Adrian looks pretty fucked up. Two of your allies are blinded. Can't do anything about blinded. Well, it would have been helpful if you could. 
<laughs> Let's say about 87% fucked up, if we could put it in numbers. <laughs> <laughs> about 87% fucked up, if we could put it in numbers. Alright. I'm going to take a very circuitous path to get to Adric. I can do that. Yep. And that's like going uh, around, basically. Around the edge of the room. And then I am going to do that. Heal nine. Unless you would make a will save uh, to reduce this by half. I will not do that. I have a really good uh, will save, too. I could probably prevent it. Uh... Uh, David, I'm small. Uh-huh. Uh, can I hide behind my larger fellows? Uh, the pawn fellow? Yes. Okay, I would like to stealth. Okay. Adric, are you wielding a tower shield by any chance? No, it is a mithril heavy shield. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, you're stealthed. All right, that's me. Will you tell me you're doing that or gesture to me that you're doing that? No, I'm just being all sneaky. All right, uh, next turn. Holly, you're up. Oh, boy. Hmm. So is it just um, Carbonics that's currently grappled? Or, or grappled. No, wait. It's, 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 it's back far. Okay. Okay. My mistake. Uh, he'll be okay. I'm just going to try to hit it. I'm doing fine. I didn't ask you. I just assumed. <laughs> God, the shade never ends. Okay, I hit my first attack. I'm gonna wait for it to go to make sure it actually goes. Okay. Okay. It's, um... It hasn't. It hasn't. There it is. There it is. Okay, now I'm gonna do the second one. That one was significantly quicker. <laughs> um, so you will hit on both because Bard Song? Hooray. Hooray, you do have Lingering Bard Song, right? Yeah, this is the last round it lingers. Okay. I'm doing oh, that. I forgot to tell you, it got bloodied, like, two attacks ago, so now it's, it's pretty <laughs> fucking injured. I slammed it with my pseudopods. She what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Robert, do you know what a pseudopod is? I'm completely blind at the moment. <laughs> you hear squishing and slamming. <laughs> yeah, I'm hella confused. But not actually. Yeah, not actually. <laughs> this game's done. Uh, Danior, you're currently grappled. Wait, how? Oh, not Danior, excuse me. Beck is grappled, I was looking at the wrong token. Danior, you're not blind or grappled or confused. You can do anything. <laughs> how dare you compare me to a human? Ooh. Take a look. It's in a book. You can do anything. How oh. dare you compare me to a bearded midget? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Alright, are you talking shit about bearded uh, midgets? Yeah, that's offensive to Matters people. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> By Matters people, I mean Matters specifically. Matters. So matters. <laughs> I guess I will go back to perform, um, performing. Okay. Uh, that will use up another particle for me. Another round of it, yes. Yep. All right, I assume you're not moving. Um, I will. I guess I'll take a f uh, five foot step backwards. Or... A wise choice, my friend. Uh, Adric. I'm gonna bash it with my hammer. Please do. I, I don't bash it. <laughs> that is a big oof. Do you, Do you need to roll to fumble? Yeah, I'm going to see if you drop your weapon. How do I? I'll just d twenty. Yeah. Well, just roll the attack again. And it is really slow right now. Okay. Uh, you are going to drop your mace. Or your hammer. Dash this darkness, it's so hard to see. Telling me. Uh... <laughs> That's not why you can't see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Robert. So do I lose blindness at the start of the third round, or at the end of the third round? At the end of the third round. Damn. All right. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's still in front of me. I'm going to swing a sword right in front of me. All right, give me a d2. Oh, yeah. I'll do that one first. And then if that's a 2, give me an attack roll. Yeah. And then if that hits, give me damage. Nah, you're good. Oh, god damn it. I'm going to ask, uh, can you guys show me where, tell me where to go? It doesn't seem to be near me. 
Uh, it is. You're just missing. It is. It is right in front of you. A little to the left. No, you're, you're not there. The okay. Uh, does anyone want me to move anywhere? If not, then I'll just end my turn. Uh, forward, like two steps. Like there. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Perfect. that's my turn then, and I'm going to uh, open my eyes. Beck's turn. Uh, so Beck is going to painfully push forth jagged chunks of rock from his flesh, and then I'm grappled so I can't move, and that's it. That's my whole thing. Okay, so jagged flesh. So the next time your burn is removed, while your flesh is stone is active, and your creature that strikes you with an armor strike or an actual weapon, there's 1d6 points of piercing damage? What the fuck? I'm a spiky boulder, don't worry about it. Oh, no. This is the first thing I've seen in the last 18 seconds, and I love it. Yep. I realize, have you guys been adding the Inspire Courage damage as well? I have. Um, I've been putting it in the temp spot on my character sheet. People also just haven't been hitting. Uh, uh, Holly, did you do the Inspire Courage damage when you attacked? Uh, I didn't add it, no. Okay, so, so it'll take more on, extra damage. On the character sheet, if you guys click on buffs above, like, the main tab, you can add custom buffs, and just, like, if you type in plus one to attack and plus one to damage with a capital A and a capital D, it'll automatically add it for you. Oh, as no long way. As, as long as the condition is checked. Uh, and it the is same, a plus, it's a plus two. It's plus two. Alright, so Beck is a stony, tanky, pointy boy. The Malver will go. Um, you're grappled. It's going to attack you. So, first thing first, Blood Drain. Uh, you're going to take 1d4 points of damage as it bites. Uh, so you're going to take 3 points of damage and 1 point of con damage. And it's going to take 1d6 points of damage. Uh, I, don't, I don't have um, Stone Flesh up yet. Oh, I thought you, you would so have... So I, I have flesh. Jagged Flesh up, but Jagged Flesh only procs if I have Stone Flesh up, and Stone Flesh runs out after a round, so I don't have it up right now. Ah, okay. So it will not currently take that damage. Yep. I'm spiky, but not damages. Okay. So take three points of damage and one point of constitution damage. You got it. Uh, it's then going to try and blind Chris. Wait, I stealth though. Okay, it doesn't even know you're there. It has a no. lot of eyes. Sorry, you said three damage, right? Yeah. Dang it, I'm gonna get hit. Um, it's gonna blind the pseudopod you said. It will miss. <laughs> um, let's see, it missed with that, it can't do that. Oh, it could just BM Tim. What do you mean by BM? Uh, bad manners. I could be rude to Tim. Okay, I, I knew what BM was, I just not heard it outside of Twitch. Would it be in character for the Gibby, though? Uh, yes, because it's grappling a spiky boy. I also did so, try and grab him at the start of the combat with a big rock hand. So it's going to maintain the grapple. And it's going to use its supernatural ability, Ground Manipulation. Uh, as a standard action, it can cause the stone and earth under its body to grow soft and muddy. The ground remains muddy for one minute after the Malver moves off the location. Gibbering Malver can move through these areas with ease, but other creatures treat them as difficult terrain. Uh, it's going to turn your stone spikes into mud. Uh, oh, okay. You're no longer spiky. Okay, Jagged Flesh is down? Yes. That's cool. Only the floor under it, right? Mm. Yeah, but this is cooler, Cecilia. Okay. Yeah, rule of cool. You just did. All right, I'll fuck off. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> and that was its standard action, so it's done. Chris, Holly, you're on deck. Oh boy. I would. Nah, you guys got this. <laughs> Do we? What? <laughs> I'm gonna uh, move up here to like one of the alcoves and columns and hide in them. Alright, visual stealth. Yikes! Okay. I love waiting to see the number. Chris has a combat capability to a common house cat. That's no, hold on. A CR one half. Beat me in a fight. Only because you'd miss all the time. 
You make a great point. I miss Pebble. Oh, <laughs> what an angry cat. That is not a common house cat. No, she is unique and special. She has a level of barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> that cat would definitely beat me in a fight. Okay, Holly, you're up. Okay. Oof. I feel like I should just hit it again, but I really wanted to I really want to grapple it. So I'm gonna try and grapple it. <laughs> is the inspiration still up? It yeah. is. Is that just a damage or that's attack wolf and damage wolf. Okay, thanks. Uh so trying to grapple it would not be affected by this. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's grappled. Yes. Am I, I got it, guys. <laughs> Beth, you are no longer grappled. Heck yes. Is it demoralized still? Or is it shaken still? It's still shaken. No. I haven't really been paying attention to how long that lasts, but you know what? Oh, shaken for one round. Plus, plus a certain amount for how much, um, how high I you beat it. Yeah, for every five you beat the DC by. Which should have been two rounds. So it's no longer shaken, but I've been treating it as such. Yep. Alright, Holly, it's, it's grappled. What do you want to do? Are you going to, like, pin it, or...? How do I do that? Do I roll another combat maneuver? Um, let me look up grapple rules. I guess I didn't think about getting this far. I was too excited about the prospect. Fun fact, grapple is like one of the most complicated things in DVD. I'm in over my head, but it's too late now. <laughs> this is, this is what I've done. <laughs> okay, pin. You can give your opponent the pin condition. You still only have the grapple condition, but you lose your dexterity bonus. Oh, do you have improved grapple? Yes. Yes. Okay, so you don't provoke an attack of opportunity. I do not. Does it say how you give it the pinned condition, or do you just decide to do that? Okay, so here I found... Here are flowcharts of how grapple works. Oh, thank you. Um, the first round... So your, your round is going to be over, but it's grappled, and we're good. Uh, so we'll go to Danior. I will let you read the documentation. And this we'll get back to what happened. This is less complicated than I thought it was going to be. Uh, do I demoralize it again, or do I just hit it? I'll hit it. Whip it Already good. Found. Whip it good. Whip it real good. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to cast Arcane Strike as a swift action. All right. Uh, giving me plus two to damage. Please roll to hit, and please roll decently. If not well. Fuck that cock. Okay. Would you like to take your move action? Mm, nah. I think it's like a rule that the first combat of every, every campaign has to go fucking awful. Just garbage, yes. <laughs> Just complete ass. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're in character creation, you're like, my character's such a badass, they're so cool, they're so confident. You get to the first combat and you're like, I suck at everything. I'm gonna go live I in need a, a dumpster. seven to hit it. I've not hit it once yet. <laughs> What's your Robert deal? hasn't rolled above a five this entire combat. Yeah. I spent like, five turns standing there, doing nothing. <laughs> no, I've, been u I've been useful, but in the, my least favorite way. Matter, please hit it. <laughs> I... Shove my shield at it. Get shoved. Do you have improved uh, shield bash? I do. Ooh, lovely. All right, so you will maintain your shield AC bonus after shield bashing it. Uh, are you doing this as part of a full round action or a single attack? Single attack. Okay. So that is a full base attack bonus shield bash. 23 hits, roll damage. Okay, that was half of its remaining HP. No quarter for you, monster. It's below a quarter. <laughs> huh. Alright, Robert. How does shield bash work? It's a 1d4 plus strength? Yeah, it's 1d4 plus strength. 
Um, I think it's actually a isn't it actually a D six for a heavy shield? I'm looking at heavy shield, and I think it's D four. I'll double check. I might be thinking of three five. No, I do not want the spell shield. Yeah, it's a D four for a heavy shield. Okay. So you do a D4 plus 2, it counts as... But you, so, if you don't you have... Them, plus 2? So you get plus 2 to hit because of uh, Bard Song. Macker also did 2 extra damage because of Bard Song. So a Shield Bash, you don't get your Shield AC the next turn, unless you have the improved Shield Bash feat. Mm-hmm. It's attacking with an off-handed weapon, so you can attack with your sword and the shield. Both at minus two as a full round attack, like someone who would attack with two weapons. Um, and then the shield does a d4 plus strength mod if it hits. Okay. Cool. Then um, I'll take a full round and uh, slice at it and then try to bash it with my shield. And I'll lose the AC. Okay. So roll for sword, roll for shield. I think we're just waiting for the sword one to go through. Uh, and this will be minus two off of this, but that was a crit. So. And you confirmed the crit. So it is fucking dead. Confirms. Fuck yeah. I like how oh, we do max deeps when it has like two health remaining. It had three health <laughs> remaining. And it had 55 total. And Robert just did 40 something. Phenomenal. God. Oh, 40 Thank you. Ka- kabonics. Thank you. I'm glad we can be rid of this fiend. All right, I'm going to delete its token, and we can be fucking done with that. Does it have anything on its corpse? Nope. Although, as the body dissolves, it reforms into three humanoid shapes and leaves behind three distinct humanoid skeletons. Oh, God. I have two questions. Yes. How long does this con damage last? Uh, con damage restores at a rate of one per day. Okay. Unless you buy a specific alchemic item, which... Yeah. Clerics can fix it, alchemical items can fix it, otherwise it's one per day. Okay, and then can I, uh, regrow my spikes, please? Uh, you may. Thank you. Can Ren fix it? No. He did a heal. <laughs> That was a reasonable question. Yeah. You don't know that. I don't heal anyone. That's not a bard spell. You asked us, does anyone need healing? <laughs> no, I I did not ask if anyone needed healing. I you wanted a percentile range, range of, of damage. damage. <laughs> That's fair, though. You did ask, is anyone damaged? You didn't ask I, I asked how mean? people look health-wise. Yeah, my bad. I will take Inspire Courage off. Uh, but the yeah, wisdom... Inspire Courage is for another two rounds. 12 seconds more. Um, I'd like to look at the uh, skeletons left behind. Yeah. Are they children? Nope. Are um, they humans? Yep. Anything interesting about them? They're three human skeletons. Archaeologically speaking, do they look very old? Uh, no, they look like, you know, whatever they were in just died. When this is all done, we shall give them a burial. Yeah, so I'm going to do that now. Um, and I'll just, like, put my hand on the ground and stone shape all three of them into the deepest hole I can make and then close it. Okay. Well, that's a, that's a burial. Does anybody want to say some words? They yeah, don't need words, this, they're dead. What's all this uh, rubble here? Is there anything interesting in there? Uh, we search the rubble and find nothing. Cool. Hey guys, wanna go poke at the door? Anybody the door. have any reason not to go to the door? I would like to check the door for traps. Uh, the door is untrapped. Weird. Um, hey, does someone else want to open this? I will. Is it the big cup room? Who thinks it's the big cup room? Uh, we must be getting close at this point. There was uh, the table. <laughs> I assume this is a push door, since you said there was no handle on it, so I'm going to try to push it. Okay, it does not budge. Ah, this is embarrassing. 
Beck? I'll do the door frame uh, thing. Would you like to give me a strength check to force it? The yeah. door frame is metal. Yes, I will. Kabonix is <laughs> Okay, it does not budge. Hmm. I'm going to do the door frame thing. The door it's frame metal. is also metal. Oh, shit, I can't do that one. Uh, is the no, you can't invalidate door? every door. <laughs> Hold on. What's next to me? Is this stone, or is the entire room metal? Oh, that part is stone. Hey, uh, hey, Beck, can you make a small hole? Maybe about three feet high? I, I can make a hole, yeah. Cool. Send me that way. I can go through it, too. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll make a hole, like, next to a, the door at an angle, sort of aiming to come out behind the door. Yeah, that. So, oh, Chris, you're gonna squeeze through? Yeah. I'm small. I can fit. I can go through. I won't take a squeezing diva. What's the plan here? Um, I'm going to go through. Okay, Holly, are you also going through? I'll stand on deck. Sorry, I forgot I was on push the top. If he wants me to come through, I will. How big are you? I'm medium size. I'm medium size. About five foot three. You can fit through this, damn. Uh, David, what's what's on uh, behind the door? It looks like a hallway, and the door was barred. I'm going to remove the bar on the door. Can you give me a strength check? Oh shit! It's a large piece of metal, you weak fuck. <laughs> Do you need help? Uh, a 10 will not move it. J just go help him, Zell. Okay. Hey, hey, can someone strong get through here? What fraction of my size would you say this opening is? Like half. Okay. I just kind of squish through. My body comes kind of gooey a little bit. As Burn the witch. <laughs> okay. Now I'll make a strength check. Okay. Uh, you would be able to do it if you took a 10. Okay, good. I'll take a 10. <laughs> I just also knew that Chris couldn't do it if he took a 10. Because I did not roll well. Alright, so the door is open into this hallway. And you can see I have uh, stopped doing floor tiles. Hey, they still work as is. Do you mind if I take the lead? Uh, go for it. I don't mind. Yeah. Uh, I guess hey. we would just continue through the hallway. There's more hallway. Wow. About how long has it been since we arrived here? A few minutes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. David, can I maintain a spell of concentration for as long as I don't cast another spell of concentration? Uh, you do not still have detect secret doors up. Sure. You uh, spent two rounds confused. <laughs> right. Like at the minimum, that fucks it up. You can maintain more, more than one spell. Concentrate on more than one spell in Pathfinder. All right. The hallway leads to a dead end. But down this dead end, there's another door. Is this one also made of metal? I think this guy loves doors. It's made of wood. Does it have a handle? Yes. I'm going to try to push it. So please move your token to be there. To be where I want it to go? Yeah. Yes, please move your tokens in real time for this. I'm going to turn the aura off because it's getting on my nerves. We still don't see the aura. Yeah, it was mostly so I could let people know you add one to their will save if they needed to. Um, it never helped, but... <laughs> so, I'm going to shortcut some stuff. Given Robert's adamantium longsword and Tim's ability to just invalidate door frames, I'm going to skip a lot of these locked doors. Cool. Um, I will note that there were quite a few of them. We appreciate his aesthetic. Oh, Chris, are you going to recast Detect Secret Doors or whatever? Not yet. There's another door here. You guys will invalidate it. 
I'd like to use perception to look around for secret doors, though, normally. Please roll. How do you Please. whisper? Slash W space name space message. Okay, thank you. Uh, Chris, you find a secret door here. Ooh, door! Uh, I'm gonna... Wow, we did like a door. Do I see how to open it? Uh, you think you could just push on it. Hey, um, Kabonix, can you come push on this door for me real quick? Uh, sure. We'd have to swap spaces here, or else I have the squeezing debuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna push on the door. There's a room. Whoa. I found and a room. Another, and another door. So many doors. I'm proud of you, uh... I'm gonna investigate this door? Carbonix for finding... Please roll investig- or er, please roll whatever it is you need to find traps and stuff. Probably perception. Yeah, I think it is. Come through in a moment. Uh, the door is untrapped. Alright, should be clear. I'm gonna open the door. Okay, the door was trapped. <laughs> uh, fuck, I have this in a different book. Shoot. Uh, as a- Mechanical arm is going to swing up from the floor, approximately here, and throw some javelins at you. It's okay, he has a shield. Yeah, this is actually one of the traps that cares about your AC. Nice. Looks like that's I'm that, not in the way, so that's, that's great. That's thing I like. Caring about AC? Yeah. This is why we have the big heavily armored person open the door. Yeah. Don't oh, we get a trap oh, bonus oh. to AC? Yeah, but like even with that, he still has more AC than I do. That's very likely. I'm still out in the trap section, but I found the siege engine section. No, nice. oh, please. Is Don't that relevant? Have my friend. <laughs> Fine, Roman catapults. We need more trebuchets. Actually, yeah, if it's a trebuchet, I'd be fine with that, because, like, it's not going to... Robert, be your AC is, checking again, wow, really fucking high. Yeah. Right, the javelin is just gonna plink off of your shield. <laughs> Evildoers are never are always underestimating me. Uh, you find a treasure chest in this room. <gasps> um, my int. My int's pretty low. Uh, it's it's average. I, level five. I'm probably smart enough not to just open a chest. I'll let the the guy who's been not to doing stuff chest. do it. What was that, Chris? I'm gonna actively tell people to don't touch the chest. At least not yet. It's just a chest. I don't need to be here. Alright, we're checking the chest for traps, I assume? Yes. Okay. I rolled perception. It'll be here in a minute. Yeah. It, it's Saturday night. We uh, The chest is untrapped. <laughs> okay, this one should be untrapped, but for real, though, this time. It's I'm also going to attempt to open it. Chest, is it locked? Right? Uh, it is not locked. Alright, I'll open the chest. Cool. Inside, you find loot. I like that stuff. Uh, so inside the chest, you find a masterwork scythe. Who's the party edge lord? Uh, definitely Vren. And I'm just gonna be writing down what you say, just so we can keep track of it. And four po potions. What is the check to identify a potion? Uh, uh self -rest. Eek. I don't have that one. Uh, I'll roll it. <laughs> Does nobody know it? I think you have to... Yeah, you'd be trained to roll it. Do we even have, like, a... Oh, hey, Wait. not bad! How come you don't know it? Aren't you an arcane caster? Wait, are you actually trained in spellcraft, Chris? Yeah. Nice. Okay. One rank in spell. Uh, there are two potions of Cure Light Wounds. Uh, one potion of... Sorry, my brain just farted for a second. So two Cure Light Wounds, one Endure Element, and one Enlarge Person. Oh, nice. If no one wants the Enlarge Person, um, I'll, I'll take it. I'm gonna take all of them. I'm gonna take everything. Uh, no? Ho, 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 ho. We're in a dungeon. I've got this handy, nifty backpack. 
I also um, have a I also, I also have a handy and you've already backpack. you have already shown yourself to abandon the team at the first sign of any problem. Excuse uh, me, so I, I will be holding on to these potions. Could. I will say I do feel like he healed me. Now who is best at healing here? The palace. I'm going to put the potions in my backpack. Uh, you should give one of them to the guy who got eaten. Is there anything else in there? Uh, nope. Also, so Tim, you create a chair out of the wall, and in doing so, you reveal that it was actually a secret door. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So okay, if there's nothing else in there, I'm gonna kind yeah, of squeeze past so. our friends and try and catch up with Beck hard and see what he's uh, up Aaron Guard. Or, is that, that's not right. Uh, Edric? Oh gosh. Edric? Edric, do you need this potion of healing? I wouldn't be opposed to a potion of healing right now. In fact, does anybody else need healing? I'm fine. I oddly was just blinded. Let's say hypothetically I heal on hands, and then hypothetically that heals me as well. Hypothetically. <laughs> I mean, I have, a bit, I have a bit of damage that could be healed if it'll help you. Uh, so Tim, in that room you found, while everyone else was looking at the so uh, Beck, chest protected by the chapel, Beck so hasn't Beck, gone in. He's just sitting on the like melted stone door, waiting for everyone else. Okay, how are you guys gonna pretend you got there before me? I was trying to plod along at a reasonable pace. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, you guys I were just like we're next to Tim now. <laughs> you have like short legs. You have like twenty foot move speed. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I have thirty foot move speed. <laughs> Like Robert, oh, yeah, Eric. For 11. Or, sorry, yeah. Okay, so there's a treasure chest for 11. Okay. This one looks even fancier and more ornate. Okay, hold on. Definitely don't touch this one. I don't trust it. Yeah, obviously. I'm gonna detect magic at it. Cool, it's not magic. I'm gonna perception it. Okay. Um, so it's definitely trapped. Also, give me a reflex save. Oh, I've got a bonus on this. I'll figure it out in just a sec. Uh, it's at least plus one. Okay, as you start checking the chest for traps, uh, it seems like just touching it triggered a small poisoned spine to protrude out of it that tried to prick you in the finger. Uh, yeah, uh, so that's gonna be a 23. Yeah, you, you take no damage. Okay. Um, I'm going to roll disabled device. Uh, the trap didn't reset. Is that the only trap on there? As far as you're aware? What's going on up there? Uh, another chest. This one was trapped. I uh, dealt with it. What's in it? Don't know. I haven't opened it yet. We'll do that then. Uh, Is it a chest? <laughs> sure, I'll open this one. Like, either do it or, or just ask someone else to. Like, I'll Are you it. opening it? I assume I have to be in this room? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, inside you find uh, 155 platinum pieces. Ooh! You said this one was ornate and fancy? Yes! There's no magic on the chest. None. What about the coins? They're Are platinum. you detecting magic on the coin? Yeah. They're made of platinum. The magic here is that they can be exchanged for goods and services. <laughs> okay, so I'm just remembering at the entrance of the dungeon, it said, uh, dare not treachery to enter, for greatness consumes all petty things, and I'm just being slightly paranoid. Yeah, it's almost like everything in this fucking dungeon is trapped. <laughs> Well, yes, he was a megalomaniac. So you haven't just taken it? No, I'm going to take it. What is it? Uh, just some coins. It's 155 platinum. I'll hand it out at the end. Okay. Seems reasonable. Okay, I uh, believe so. Beck, do you want to invalidate the door in front of you? Sure. <laughs> Make a chair. <laughs> Let's see your charity work, bud. Huh. I get it. Alright, so Beck, when you stand there, uh, can you give me a reflex save? Heck yes, I can. That's oh, wait, this one doesn't have a reflex save. 
That's fine. I didn't make it anyway. <laughs> what a terrifying sentence. Uh, rather than a reflex save, a scythe is going to slide out of the wall and slash at your ankle. Uh, it will hit and deal 10 damage. Yeah, I heard you. Are you oh, sure no, it's his ankles? He's a dwarf. My dearest Beck friend, no. I'm fine. The ankles are in about the same place. Are you alright? As an attack, dude, the trap slides back into the wall and you hear a click. Okay, everyone. I've out. got it. No, this one's me. Tim, oh, Tim right. heal, heal the 10 points back. Okay. I wish there was a way to link my tokens HP to my HP so I didn't have to change it twice. Uh, anyway, I'm going to activate my stone, uh, flesh of stone again, and I'm going to walk into it so that when it hits me, it will take 1d6 damage. Okay, it's going to swing out again. Why don't you just cover it with some other stone? It's like going to hit you again. Trajectory. Or let me disarm it. It's going to deal 11 points of damage and shatter. <laughs> Tim's hard now. Uh. Okay, so the psych trap has been quote unquote deactivated. Yeah. <laughs> In that it, it will keep triggering, but there's no longer a psych attack. Uh, is there another door in this room? Uh, yes, there are doors here and here. I recommend splitting the party. I would that like to be my suggestion. Doors. Look, there, there's an even number of us. We can do three and three. Let's not. Oh. Two Two DMs makes it way easier to split the party. I think we should. From my experience being in caves, uh, larger groups do better. Can I choose my team? Bear. I mean, there's one of us here who knows how to see traps. <laughs> I and saw the trap. Doors. Yeah, with your ankles! Well, what good did the trap do? Uh, I mean, you look pretty hurt to me. Uh, I don't look pretty hurt to you. Yeah, he is pretty. He's pretty. He's pretty hardy. <laughs> look, that that looked scary. Are, have we decided which way we're going? Nope. Are we splitting up? What's the deal? Um, we gotta get this cup, man. Time's a waste. I'm just gonna follow back far. All right, we're gonna invalidate another door. You can lead with yeah, your shield if you, want. if you want. I'm fine with that. Um, Two more doors. Okay. Are uh, they're both openable, I assume? Yep. Can I check for traps this time, please? If you must. <laughs> no, go ahead. Step in it. You can go the other way and check for traps. Yeah, there's two doors. Robert, are you opening the door in front of you? Yeah. Okay, this one was trapped. Heck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's your AC again? 25. Ooh, 26, motherfucker. Shit. All right. <laughs> Minimum damage. Take two points of damage as an arrow flies out of the opposite wall at you. I'm going to take no damage and deflect the arrow back with my shield. Do you have arrow deflection? I have missile shield. It allows me to do that once per day. Or once oh. per round. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Bren, who do you look like right now? Oh, I still look like the halfling. The halfling. Okay. Oh, you look okay. like yourself? No, I distinctly do not look like myself. Yeah, so down there you can see that there's another door. Shall we continue this way, or would you like to open the other door? Uh, why don't you go open the other door, see what happens. I start smoking. So many doors. What are you Wait, smoking? Uh, like a cigarette, or are you like igniting? Uh, tobacco <laughs> pipe. Incredibly attractive. Okay. Are, 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 cigarette, are cigarettes in this world? Well, I just wondered what you meant by smoking. You can squeeze past me if you want. Because like, if you were like tobacco. literally about to burst into a ball of flame, I think the party would want to know. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a dead end. Perception check? Oh, Do I see it. anything? Um, please roll perception. Uh, I will as soon as my character sheet opens back up. <laughs> there it is. Oh, I don't know what I just clicked. Oh, that wasn't me. Sweet. My bad. 
I just wanted to see what my dwarf eyes saw. That's fair. Uh, I don't know wow, that is an insane perception roll. Holy shit. I have a lot of points in perception. <laughs> you are extremely confident that this is a dead end. Mm. Okay. <laughs> That's a 19, so... When as confident as he was that that was a scythe, I'm, I'm hitting gonna my card. <laughs> like... Double check him. Rolls on that one. In that case, I'm gonna like start heading down this way, but I'm not gonna move until he's done with his check. <laughs> you just gotta make sure, you know? It's not that I don't trust him, it's that I'm the most roguelike here? Um, you are confident that it is a dead end. Okay, this is fine. And once I hear you say that, I would start coming down this way. To what I assume is another door to my I right? I assume either we're gonna, like, stone shape... So this door is stuck. I assume we're either cutting through it or stone shaping around it. I'm gonna cut plan. through it. Alright, this party fears no doors. <laughs> Truly. At least anything with stone around. Until we come up, until we hit the next dungeon where all the walls actually have um, hardness 50 and like the doors, doors are enchanted. <laughs> yeah, just an adamantine dungeon. Which makes sense. Yeah, or, or everything's made of wood and then at least Tim won't be able to invalidate everything. Yeah, and I mean, I'm not going to cut secret doors at this intersection. If you're going to check the secret doors at this intersection? Please do. Yeah, it does look suspicious. Uh, you detect that there was an arrow trap here, but it seems to have fired already. Yeah. Wait, what? Can I loot the trap? Uh, there's like completely worthless things in there, but if you want like a trophy, sure. Nah. Is there like a trigger mechanism? Uh, yeah, it was tied to this door up here. I want the trigger mechanism. Okay, it's like at least 100 years old. Cool. I'm stashing it in my backpack. Okay. Does that make you encumbered? No, it's a handy hammer sack. Ah, okay. <laughs> Oh, Is God, anybody God. here who doesn't have a, a handy haver sack? I have a backpack. <laughs> I have a handy haver sack. Okay, so you guys seem to have come to a dead end. What would you like to do? Doors, Bane. <laughs> Check for secret doors. Start heading okay. back to the other door. With perception or with a magic? Uh, with perception. Okay, please roll. I clicked it. Ah, <laughs> I appreciate the preemptive clicking. Oh, you find two secret doors. Nice! There's one here, and there's one here. Oh, boy. Um, I'll check the closer one for traps first. Uh, the one to your left? Yeah. Uh, it is untrapped. Oh, okay. Uh, you see that you could pull a stone out of the wall, and then the whole wall would just slide down into a recess beneath it. <gasps> Can I do it? Sure, go for it. Oh boy. I'm pulling the stone. Alright, the whole wall just kind of like slides down as if that stone was like a peg holding it up. I'm Bekvar! I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna change to look like Bekvar and just be like smoke. Got like a, we are like all a Bekvar comrade. parental. Okay, we get it. Enjoy your little hat. Parental <laughs> satisfied I'll nod. Step into the room. <laughs> Okay, um, so this door reveals this room. This room has another treasure chest in it. This one does not look very ornate. All right, does anyone want to open this, or can I check it for traps first? Well, check it for traps if you must. Wait, did any is the was the ornate treasure chest worth anything? No. Mm. Um, I'd like to detect magic on the treasure chest. Okay. Is it magic? I don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> Does it look like trash? Oh no! Oh, it is not magical. Does it look like magic? Does it smell like magic? Does it taste like magic? I'm gonna perception it. Okay. That's not good. Uh, so you're searching it for trap? Yes. 
Okay, cool. As soon as you touch it, your hand sticks to the side. Please roll initiative. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, we all roll initiative. Well, yeah. I go last. Sweet, it automatically updates. Oh, wait. Did I roll? Okay, yeah, I rolled that one. Yeah, if it auto-updated, you're good. If it didn't, please edit. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot. I think if you click the token first, that's how you do it? Hey, Chris, do you want to take a 20 on knowledge? Yeah, I just uh, No, I can't do that anymore. I can take 10. Do you want to take a 10 on knowledge? Yeah, that sounds good. This is a mimic! Wow, I didn't see that coming! Is it magic? I don't know how to answer that. Huh, I wonder what that means. <laughs> I appreciate you guys not metagaming off of that. <laughs> you're so better people than I am. Your hand oh. is stuck to it? Help. I assumed all of the chests were going to be Yeah, you should know about that. It does the sticky the way you do. What do you need help with, friend? Uh, the not chest that. is a mimic. It's trying to eat me. Heavens, no. That is sticky. <laughs> Please free me and or break the chest. I can help you in like a little bit, uh, 18 seconds or so. Such an accurate <laughs> prediction of time, Intrigue. All right, let me see if I can find a mimic. If I grease you up, could you escape? Uh, maybe? I don't think so. The chest is attacking you. Uh, yeah, no, obviously. This may be a bit relevant to my strategy. Um, would you consider this chest undead? No. No. Okay, here's the treasure chest. Um, and then I will give the treasure chest turn in the combat. Oh, dang. Wow, that, is, that is a vast treasure chest. Oh, dang. I bought the, I bought the accelerant, but I didn't move, get the glue dis, uh, dissolve it. Um, and so as far as dimensions go... Um, there's only one door into the room, correct? And that's where um, uh, names a Adric is? Uh, there's a second door to the room. So there's the one where Adric is standing, and then there's another one right here. Okay, okay but like as far as like entrances go, I wouldn't be able to hit it from the hallway? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, conveniently, it has the highest initiative of all of you. Heck. Yay! That's not convenient at all. It is for me. I'm about to die. Ah, uh, you're not going to die. It's just going to uh, melee slam. Oh, do you want the little lore blurb? Because you got a twenty. Yeah, that sounds fun. Mimics are thought to be the result of an al uh, an alchemist's attempt to grant life to inanimate objects through the application of an eldritch reagent, the recipe for which is long lost. Over time, these strange but clever creatures have learned the ability to transform themselves into simulacra of man-made objects, particularly in locations that have infrequent traffic by small numbers of creatures, thus increasing their odds of successfully attacking their victims. Although mimics are not inherently evil, some sages believe that mimics attack humans and other intelligent creatures for sport rather than merely for sustenance. And their desire to completely fool others is thought to be a part of their being. And the surprise attacks against others are accumulation of those desires. All right, so it's gonna attack the shit out of you. <laughs> I don't hunt for sport. I don't hunt. All right, twenty-seven beats your AC. Yeah. Uh, take ten. Ouch. And you're grappled. Fuck. Oh, you would know that strong alcohol or a universal solvent can dissolve the adhesive. Shit, I didn't take either of them. Dang, it's always nice to have alcohol. Specifically strong alcohol. Uh, so that's the Mimic's turn. Wait, um, does eth Is, uh... Does kerosene count as an alcohol? No. Kerosene is not an alcohol. For my turn, I will sprout some more pseudopods of the bludgeoning. Persuasion. Um, I, think uh, I think I'll try and grapple chest. the chest. Why not? Why not? Okay, go for it. Okay, I'm rolling. It, it's rolling. 
How was that? Um, so you were in a grapple with the Mimic. Uh, Vren, you were still grappled. Um, you feel like you're stuck to it. <laughs> Wait, are you all melee fighters? Yeah. <laughs> Beck's kind of not. What's her range? I'm distinctly fighter? not. <laughs> Yeah, Beck is the only ranged DPS in the party. I'm kind of ranged. Are you doing anything else with your turn? Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> no, I'll stay here. All right. And next to go is Carbonics. Carbonics. Okay. Well, I was lucky enough to get to go before you guys. So I'm going to get down in here. Um, and yeah. I'm going... Huh? Oh. oh. Message. <laughs> we got uh, two Cure Light Wounds and... Yeah, did you just like snatch all of them from me? or? Yeah, I put them all in my bag. Alright. Do you need a potion of enlarged person right now? I mean, that would help. I have two. We would all have the squeezing debuff? No, um, the chest, Holly, and I are grappled. Yeah, but if you got uh, a grappled. large person, you would fill this entire room. Yeah, I'm sure. That... No, I'd become a medium creature. Oh, you're small sized. <laughs> yeah, he's the halfling guy. That's Wait, true. didn't he change into Beck when we opened this door? Uh, short Beck. Oh. Beck is medium. He can't change his size. Oh, okay. I, I, I can increase my size by up to one foot. Got it, okay. Or the Mini appearance Beck. of my size, rather. I should have taken improved. A gnome, um, I guess. I want to try to, like... So, currently, the way that they're they're grappled is, like, they're stuck to it, right? Their hand is, like... Friend's hand is stuck yeah, to it. Yeah, they're, they're, like, glued to it. I'm going to try to, like... Sunder the portion of the chest that's holding on to uh, Vren's hand. Okay, please uh, give me an attack roll at minus four. Uh, so take this minus four. So 13. Uh, 13 will not bypass the natural toughness of the, the natural armor of the, the monster. Damn. Okay. That's my um, turn. You do make contact with it, though. Specifically, the sword is the sword stuck to it now? Can you give me a DC, or can you give me a reflex save to make sure your sword isn't stuck? That one's not great. Uh, your sword is stuck. You can, <laughs> at the start of your turn, attempt a strength check to pry your weapon off. Okay. Uh, Adric, Vren, what would be the best strategy to attack? Because I'm seeing that swinging my weapon against it, it does not seem effective. Things I should have asked. Um, David, how much do I know about the chest? Um, you know it's sticky. You know it mimics things, and you know it's carnivorous. Don't touch it with anything you don't want to lose. It's sticky. It'll stick to anything. Oh, you also know that alcohol and a universal solvent gets rid of the adhesive. Uh, does anyone have any alcohol, per chance? Heavens, no. Huh. No, I wonder what happens if I retract my suit pods. I drank it y yesterday, sorry. <sighs> Damn it, Dan. The one time I actually need you to have booze and you're out. Uh, I might be able to um, get take it out. Get um, Give me a sec. Wait, does this attack of opportunity? Has it been? Um, as as far as we know, it has not used an attack of opportunity yet. Zell, do you mind uh, if, I, if I make things just a little bit tight quickly? That's fine. Step in, and I'm going to use shared defense. So as a standard action, I will use one of my lay on hands to give everybody adjacent to me plus one sacred bonus to their AC. Nice. And it lasts for three rounds because of my charisma modifier. And then I will step back out. Can I split my move up like that? Technically, no.
Well, we're squeezing. We're getting cuddly. If you're going to squeeze, you should squeeze on me. Uh, Beck, this would be a fantastic time to cast Fireball. Uh, Beck doesn't know Fireball. Um, <laughs> but it would be a phenomenal time if he did. Can I, can I line of sight the box from here? Yeah. Okay, then I am going to gather power. Uh, so Beck is going to drop into like a power crouch. Um, and all sorts of like energy and stone is going to start swirling around him and he's going to start shouting. Uh, and that is a full round action. What is he shouting? No, like a Dragon Ball Z scream. Ah! I Excellent. Assume. I can dig it. That's fantastic. <laughs> no, not like that. No, that's the drow. Oh, right, yeah, the drow's all flopping. Vren, do you want to hold your turn so I can give you a potion to... Um... David, do mimics fear anything? You would not know. Hold on, I need to look up my gear real quick. I guess grappling it wasn't the ideal decision. No, not it was exactly maybe one of the worst. No. I thought it would relinquish him. Like like the last time I did a grapple. No, it looked see, sticky, didn't, didn't but I didn't know, know it was that. actually that sticky. You could have asked. I was trying to help. And look where that got me. Lesson learned. The lesson is to always help, except harder. Um. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. I would like to reach into my handy haversack with my free hand. Do I have a free hand? Yeah. All right. Uh, and produce a tinder twig. Okay. Um, I am going to attempt to set the chest on fire. Okay. You're going to apply a tinder twig. To a large wooden object and hope it works, yes. Uh, well, it's not wooden, it just looks wooden. Oh, shit. Would he have known this? Uh, it doesn't seem like he did. Alright, so you're gonna stick the tinder twig into it, and the tinder twig is gonna get stuck. It'll be a DC 15 strength check to pull the tinder twig off. Okay, but the tinder twig's on fire, yes? It's like a lighter, yeah. Well, I wanted to light it before sticking it in there. Yeah, it's, it's like lit. Okay, cool. 420 lit. Uh, so yeah, that's my turn. Alrighty, can I attack um, the chest from here? Um, the door is here. So you need to like... Okay, so I would go here. And doesn't incite an attack of opportunity by the time I get here, right? Hey, I have to reload the page real quick. Uh, it's fucked up for me. He said he said doesn't do attack, hasn't done attack of opportunity, but it would if I have gone here, correct? It has not taken an attack, of opportunity, an attack of opportunity yet. Sweet. And if I'd got, go here, no attack of opportunity. It does not take an attack of opportunity. Uh, cool. Um, I inspire courage. Or oh, um, am I in your way? I'm back. Uh, no, you're not in my way. I don't... No, you're fine. I inspire courage. Great. The Mimic will go. There's a lot of people in this room. This we yeah, find out. Three things stuck to the it. Mimic has AoE damage. <laughs> um, I don't have access to roll 20. I'm getting a 503 service unavailable. Oh no. It's probably just like over capacity. I know, like I'm refreshing trying to get back in, but I'm letting you know what my current situation is. Okay. Uh if it doesn't change before your next turn in combat, I will we'll figure it out then. Wait, someone can just screen share with me on Discord. And you can move my token around. David, can you do that? Yeah, I can move the token no, around. No, not Dave. Or David can move the token around, but David shouldn't screen share. 
Okay, so the mimic is going to slam Robert. Okay. Oh, Tim is also live. You can watch Tim's. It'll hit. It'll do seven points of damage to Robert. And it will not glue you. Okay. Uh, and that will end its turn. I'm gonna stream uh, snipe Tim now. Hmm. <laughs> this is a predicament. Alright, well, let me take a look at... So... I guess I don't actually do anything on the round two of grappling. That would be the defender. Yeah, you want the other one, which is round three. Round three? Yeah, so there were, I sent, there were two uh, flowcharts. My apologies, I will scroll. I, I can tie the defender up. Oh, I have to pin them, I think, first. Continues to have it. Okay, I would like to pin, pin the chest. <laughs> okay. So I guess we'll see what happens there. Do I roll the same as the grapple check? or? I believe so, yes. Okay. Um, so you will not succeed in pinning him. Okay. Standard action ends. Uh, did you add the plus five? Plus five. Oh, because so I succeeded the last time. already winning the grapple. No, I did not. No, I did not. So that would be 16. Right, Might um, still not be good enough, but... Yeah, that's still not enough for the uh, Mimic CMD. Okay. Well, that's all I got, because I'm stuck to it, so... Uh, Robert, your sword is stuck to the Mimic. Yeah. Was that strength check that you mentioned? Is that a, uh, a standard to do that? Uh, no, it looks like you just get to attempt it at the start of your turn. Alright, I'm gonna yank my sword out of this thing's face. Alright, you have your sword again. Huh. Is there anything I can do here that would be more helpful than just swinging at the chest again? I personally don't think so. Uh, Vren also does not think so. Alright. I think if you could kill it, that'll solve our problem. Like, we don't have- Understood. We don't have universal solvent. I'm gonna yeah. smash it. Okay. I know you are, but, like, let him be useful. <laughs> In that case, I'm going to swing my sword at it again. Uh, this time, just trying to inflict damage and not trying to sunder. Okay. Ah, still not great. Did you add your plus two? No, I did not. I forgot that you had given us. Um, that. so you're you're going to hit. So it'd be um, an eighteen on hit and a ten on damage. Yeah, it'll take ten. It looks bloodied. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. I'm gonna uh, shout out release them. You also need to do a reflex, right? Does he get stuck again? Uh, oh yeah, make a reflex save to knock at your sword stop. Good point. All right, your sword is uh, not stuck. Sweet. Adric. I'm going to step this way and then swing at it with a warhammer. Swing at it with a shield. Get them both stuck. That'll hit. Three damage and then... Did you forgot to add the plus two from five damage then? Yeah, so five damage. And a six reflex stave. Okay, uh, your shield is stuck. E gods, my shield. This Ming must be having a great fucking time. It's just getting everything stuck to it. There's more of you than I thought there would be. I don't like that. Back. Wait, did the, sh <laughs> did the Mimic say that? Can Mimics be common? No. <laughs> okay. Alright, so Beck is going to spend his move action to continue channeling, uh, and then he's going to spend his standard to release all of that energy. Uh, so I'm going to do my... Sorry, I can't look at my character sheet while I'm talking. Um, so he's going to do the Earth Blast, uh, and he's going to be channeling all of the energy into adding um, the Entangling bonus to it. Uh, 
Uh, and then he's going to attempt to bull rush 15 feet into the ground. <laughs> Shit. You're going to push it 15 feet downward. Mm-hmm. That is the plan. I'm not, I'm not doing anything to like make the ground softer either. Okay. Damn. Um, so the attack is that. And then if I hit, you have to make the save for the entangle, and then we'll deal with the bull rush. Is that also adding the plus two? No, it's not. I forgot. Okay, so you hit, but only because of the bard song. Sweet. Sweet. Yes. You deal 23 damage. Uh, 25. You deal 25. Hmm. Uh, DC 14 or be entangled. Uh, Hold on, doing math. Entangled. Okay, and then I do a combat maneuver, but I use my constitution instead of my strength to bull rush you into the ground. Okay. Sorry, I did click it. Roll 20 is just being slow. Yeah, I figured. Manal, manal. Oh shit, my bad. I shouldn't have tried to reconnect at this moment. Hey! Do you get the plus two from my thing as well? For the combat maneuver? I should, because it adds to all my attacks, right? Oh yeah, I, combat maneuver as an attack. Didn't think. Okay, the mimic is just fucking new. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a sit down. Well met. Alright, we have killed the mimic. I'm back! I fucking hate those things. They, they live very deep, and they're awful. Are we doing XP at the end of the session? Yeah, I'll give you XP at the end of the session. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Bekvar. What have I, I done? You look like you, by the way. Uh, actually, I have an XP total for the end of the dungeon, so I'll do it then. Okay. There's a door to the south? Bekvar, that was amazing. There is a door to the south. I'd like to check it for traps. Took me a while to learn. <laughs> uh, shout out to, we're going to have to wait for Chris's roll on traps for the rest of this dungeon. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Should, no I create a gu- should I create a guy to op- uh, either, we can open chests using mage hand, or I can create a dude to open traps for. Oh, no, that just would have been way smarter. I should have I thought of that. Yeah, that would be a good move going forward for all of the chests. I can make an unseen servant if you'd like. No, I can just mage hand it. Uh, David, 25? Not trapped. Okay, I would like to open it. Okay. Tiny room, and then you see the back side of the secret door. Ooh! Check that door. Okay. 21. Door is untrapped. Open it. Okay. Uh, I'd like to make stealth to hide before I open it. Okay. You are hidden. What's this room? It's a hallway. Ooh, shiny. Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Okay. Pit trap. Sorry? Pit trap. Damn it, the one time I didn't check. Right, give me a reflex save. Yeah, I get plus one to this. 17. Uh, 17. So this... Wait, does Ori's bard song still affect me? It wouldn't give you a bonus to reflex save. Aww. Uh, so you're gonna fall in the trap. Has it been more than six seconds? It has been more than six seconds. Because it takes okay, only a minute to look for power. Saving finale one tell. Uh, Chris, you're gonna take nine points of fall damage. <laughs> I'm sorry? You're going to take nine points of fall damage. Jesus, fuck. Uh, you're 20 feet at the bottom of a pit. 40 feet? 20. Oh, okay. I just rolled high. David, I assure you that I'm, I think it's just Chris not hearing you well. Okay. I'm going to look down and just say, uh, how are you doing down there? Yeah, hold on a sec. I'm, I'm going to pull out 10 feet of rope. I'm going to pull a rope out conveniently at the top of my bag, and, uh... I'm going to pull out another ten feet of rope. I can just climb down and get him if you want. I'm going to throw the rope up. Throw the rope, please. Say, catch, please. 
Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll grab it. Probably not very heavy. Unless, uh, Matt, it looks like, um, a Adric's already on it, so I'll let you do it, Adric. Yeah, I'll catch it if he throws it. David, do I have to make a throwing check? No, you you can just get out of the pit trap. You're not in combat. I assume you guys will take enough time to get him out of the trap. Okay. okay. We do it very rushed and fail a bunch. That would be hilarious. Nice job. I'm searching for traps. Can I take a one to hold the rope? You want to just drop him again? Just let it slip through your fingers. How, who could have seen this coming? All right. So Matt, I know who I'm not sharing platinum with at the end of this dungeon. Matter, you need to commit now. Are you dropping him? I'm not dropping him. No. Okay. But man, if I made a chaotic evil paladin, this would have been great. You know, so I would to... prefer if you guys shit post in text chat. That, that makes way sense. we don't have to use precious voice chat. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Voice chat is a precious resource now. Well, because only one of us can talk at a time. But we can all shit post at the same time. Uh, so, doors? Yeah. Uh, door. Door. I assume we're going to invalidate them. As is tradition. Just a reminder, we have missed doors and are not check have not secret checked for secret doors ever. There are some places we haven't. But oh, there whatever. is a secret door up here, I believe. Yeah. Uh, the doors you guys have not fucked with are here and here. We should go up real quick. And can here, here and, and can you draw it? Yes. Going back. We could just pick a direction, guys. Like I would appreciate it if people other than me didn't draw. Can you signify what's a secret door and what's not a secret door? Uh, not easily. I'll, I'll put like a little S. That was the only one. Dave, I'm just going to roll like five perception checks. Okay, we're just checking all the doors. Uh, I'm, I'm checking like this door for traps, the tile beyond for traps, the tile I'm on for traps, just like everywhere. Okay, there are no traps, and it's a dead end. Cool, good talk. While he's doing that, I'm going to step around the pit trap as best I can, and then just open this door. It is untrapped. There's treasure in here. I'll um, build a bridge over the pit trap with stone. What is in the room? There's treasure in here. Could you define treasure? <laughs> uh, well, let me roll it real quick. Okay. You find... A massive pile this entire room is filled with 26,000 copper pieces. What I is... have to check if this only works on steel. 150 gold total. Thank you for the conversion, Cecilia. You're welcome. Sorry, I didn't quite hear. She said 160 gold. 260. 260, my bad. I was a bad relay. <laughs> Yeah, it's only on steel. Okay, okay, I can't do anything with this. The more important question is, how do you intend to get uh, 26,000 copper pieces out of here? Uh, if they were steel pieces, I could a, just easily convert them. But... Like a, a downward slope funnel, and we'll just stick a bag at the bottom of it? It's not worth the first 360 gold, guys. Let's just move yeah. on. I don't need all the money. Can't backfire just push it up to the surface? I, I, will, I will sift the ground beneath it. And pull all the coins towards me. Well, but how are you going to carry them? I have a backpack. There's almost nothing in it. They're kind of uh, handy. I though, have right? a fairly empty handy haversack as well. It's free gold. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, I was in favor of taking them. I just thought, I just thought we were going to do spooky more spooky magic. magic. Uh, I'm going to be using Mage Hand to help, like, funnel the core into my backpack. I'll, I'll be getting out of the way. way. I'll There's the spooky well. magic. Oh, Jesus. I am over-encumbered. So there's 2,600 pounds of copper here. This was what we were trying to tell you. I will drop it all and walk away. You have now understood the point. I'm going to fill up my handy haver sack to its weight capacity. Say what you'll about Oziark. This is a pretty smart uh, point he's making. 10 pounds is 100 copper pieces is one gold piece. I could carry one gold piece worth of copper. <laughs> I, we, should, we should move on. I'm going to open this door. I'm going to get behind the two chonky lads. 
I take I grab eighty five gold or copper pieces so I can uh, even out the funds in my back in my account. Uh, do I see anything noteworthy in this room, or is it just those two? Uh, what appear to be doors? So, door here, door here. Hmm. Those weren't the two doors that I thought the map was showing. Okay. Um, I'm gonna wait for the rest of my party to kind of catch up because it feels like I don't want to go too far ahead without everyone. I was waiting for um, yeah. Eric to Adric. I right. wanted to get, to get out of the way of the copper performance. Notable things. Uh, you can see down here. So this is a massive portcullis. You know, the like big great things. Um, it is wood reinforced with brass and steel. You said it was a forklift? It's a portcullis. Oh. Oh, well, I just accidentally closed <laughs> Roll20 instead of Googling what that is. Um, I, I also heard forklift that time. It's like yeah, the, really the wooden barred gates that they have at castles that like slide, slide down, down from yeah, the Yeah, portcullis. Oh, okay. is that how it's pronounced? How to pronounce that. Thank you, Holly. I just, I just learned a thing. I just misheard him. So I looked up how I assumed you spell that, and I got what looks like a, a pig. Um, <laughs> that's, how do you spell whatever you guys are talking about? Link in chat. Thank you. Gotcha. Okay. It's not really. It, it's it's pronounced like how it's spelled. Can I squeeze through these bars, David? No. You sure? They're small enough to prevent a small-sized creature from going through. Well, that's lame. Hey, Zell. I'm pretty sure I can't squeeze through either. <laughs> uh, you would be able to, because you can go down to one-eighth of your size. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Doors bane! Alright, so she's gonna just, like, ooze through. Damn, I wish I could do that. I get kind of grayish and globby. <laughs> just... okay, okay, uh... I guess, I guess I should I try and move the bars, the bars from the inside? Um, there doesn't seem to be any, like, mechanism. Okay, I'll try and move them. Just, like, like them. lift them? Yeah. Strength check? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> oh. That one. No. Squeezing through took a lot of my energy. It seems real heavy. I'll give it a try, being inspired Wait, by uh, Can we just her go around this? No, no, let them try. What's this? Double doors. Oh, double doors. There's some double doors. I'm excited by the prospect of these double doors. We have to make it through. Your DM would suggest not going through those double doors tonight, or we will go over on time. Wait, don't you can handle the final boss combat in uh, 20 minutes? Let's go check the it other way first. three then. hours to beat the narrative combat. But to be fair, <laughs> we missed a lot. Was there a lever or anything in the, in the room when you got in? No, he said there was no mechanism. That's why I'm trying to think of what I can do. I just thought I would check and see what this bulging thing from the wall was. But I'm was going the to cast... Oh, I'm going to perception for secret doors first. I'm not going to go through the doors. I'm not that dumb. Can I roll perception to check in detail up and down this hallway to see if there's anything <laughs> that can be done? Um, there's nothing in the hallway. Okay. Uh, Chris, you detect no secret doors. Cool. I believe we're going to have to event go off into another corridor to open this door. Let's I head mean, north. Full of a corridor. It's north. I'll get out of the way and let someone else open this. Also, can I get a potion? I'm a little dead. I got oh. it, Chris. Okay. Sorry, I got it, uh, uh, Fred. Fred. Squishing sounds. <laughs> I'm okay. going to take nine points of healing. Envy. So we go through this door, and we reveal another one of these hidden treasure rooms. Who, who wrote the boss? You or us or David? I wrote it. 
Yeah, yeah his is the magenta color. Oh, so Tim just color. walked all the way through. I yes. see he did not trigger any traps. I just trundled along. Alright, so we trundle in, and there's another treasure chest. Beck will open it. Beck will open it. Inside are a bunch of scrolls. Beck will walk away. I'm just I'm following Beck. Detect magic? No. Sure. Search for traps. No traps. I'm gonna ca I'm gonna go there and cast gr read magic. Okay, it's a bunch of scrolls. Let me tell you what you found. You found the second level arcane scroll for blindness slash deafness. You have found a first level arcane scroll for I just had this floating disc. You found the first level arcane scroll for mirror strike. You have found the first level divine scroll for a race. You have found a first level divine scroll for jump. You have found a first level divine scroll for bold strength. Or excuse me, that's second level. And you have found a second level arcane scroll for blur. Fancy. We can use these in to fight what's ever behind the double door. Oh, sure, but how do we get to the double door? Um, well, so some of you are divine casters, correct? I am, in fact. Not I. Not I. David, can you UMD a magic scroll if you're not the same t casting type? Uh, you may. Cool. Oh, oh I you can, can use it. You can use magic device to scroll even if you're not a caster. Wait, so what does being a caster do for you, then? Oh, it makes it significantly easier, and you might not even have to UMD. Oh, uh, okay. Because I definitely want, I guess, if no one can, wants or can use it, I'll take the mirror, arcane mirror strike, mirror strike scroll. Yeah, go for it. I mean, I could technically use it, but that doesn't seem very good. I'm not well versed in magic, I'll use what you guys tell me. Uh, I'll just hold on to that. Maybe give him the bull strength? Yeah, I yeah, sure, yeah, sure. I kind of want the blur, too, if I'm ever going to be in combat. What's a race? Removes writings of either magical or mundane nature from a scroll or from one or two pages of paper, parchment, or similar surfaces. With this spell, you can remove explosive runes, a glyph of warding, a sepia snake sigil, or an arcane mark, but not illusory script or a symbol spell. Non-magical writing is automatically erased if you touch it, and no one else is holding it. Otherwise, the chance of erasing non-magical writing is 90%. Magical writing must be touched to be erased, and you must also succeed on a caster level check against DC 15, and that one is always a failure. If you fail to erase explosive runes, glyph of warding, or sepia snake sigil, you accidentally activate that writing instead. Neat, thank you. So we need to... David, I assume there's a door up north here? Yeah, there was that door. Cool, I'm just... Is it trapped? No. Can I open it? Yeah. Does it connect exactly where we think it does? No, sorry, I meant from the treasure room. Oh. Where do you think there's a door in the treasure room? Uh, should be heading north? Or no, there's no, there's no doors here. Wow, okay, there's a door we need to go check. Yeah, he labeled all the doors. Well, sure, but I thought... He, this door wasn't around when he was labeling the doors. We hadn't gone to this room. Uh, so we can't get through the grate yet. Um, there's a door we need to loop back through. Uh, there's a door we can loop back through and investigate. It might hold an answer to this question. Yeah, it might lead around. Shall we go? I'm off. If we want, I can even sneak in behind through the double doors right after you guys burst in through the back, assuming that the other way takes you to the back. Like, a sneak attack. As you walk over to this square, you hear a distinct clicking noise, and yet nothing happens. <laughs> okay, so you get to hear you open this door. There's a hallway, there's another door at the end. I'm gonna open that one, too. There's another room, there are two doors. I'm going to run in and open those doors before they can be checked. Okay, hold on. Beck, when you open that door, shit goes oh, no. out for all of you. Oh, I have no. ruined everything. <laughs> I will let everyone in the party know. Beck has triggered the highest CR trap in the dungeon. Hype. 
Can everyone give me a reflex save? Gelatin is cute. Gelatin is cute. That's the bad one. No, it's not. Oh my god. Are you, you wish this were a gelatin is cute. Uh, I have a 22, David. This is a huge illus cube. I do not roll well. I need to check my DC. There's a plus 8 on my reflex save. <laughs> this might oh, be no. where we TPK, because you guys haven't done any healing. Hype! I think everyone- no, I think everyone's max except for me and Ren. Bex, I'm at half. <laughs> oh, really? I thought you've been healing everybody, including yourself. When I heal other people, I hear heal for three. When I started this process, Why did you I word like, it that way? Three's good, too. I was gonna hand you a cure light, and then you were like, Oh, no, if I heal you, I heal myself. So I was like, oh, okay, I, then I'll, you got 11, that's fine. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought you were Max. <laughs> okay, I respect you guys, so I'm just going to roll it in front of you. <laughs> Oof. Oh, oh that's fine. Fireball. <laughs> I'll take full. I'll take full. I take half? That's fine. What is that happening? Oh, okay. <laughs> you fucking asshole. And do I take some damage <laughs> if I'm not in the room? Um. Yes, it would fill up the hallway. Does oh my Does my God. DR apply before or after I have it? Uh, after. Cool. So what is it? Uh, so there was a fireball trap, okay, and then there's so another was... treasure room behind it. Oh, I wait. wasn't sure if fireball was a speculation. Wait, wait, it's wait. actually fire? It is actually a ball of flame. Okay, then I'm going to take even two less damage. Okay, so who is dead? Uh, Did everyone survive? Not I, says the paladin. <laughs> not you. Damn it. Dead or not you survived? Maher, how negative are you? Oh, I thought you said who's down. No, I'm still standing. Okay, nobody died. Thank fucking God. Wait, I thought someone was at nine. Who was at nine? I don't know, I just thought I heard somebody say that. I think Matt here said not I. No, that's before. Whatever. Before. Nobody hey, died. Can you still use that healing magic? Oh uh, yeah, I still have another, hypothetically, three of seven lay on hand. I mean, I feel significantly worse than I did a few moments ago. I'm going to die to a stiff breeze? Bloodied is half, right? Yeah. Beck has just become bloodied. Oh, I'm more than bloodied. <laughs> uh, David, what is the term for um, about to die? Um, fragile. fragile. Yes. I look very fragile right now. I, I, will drink, I will drink a Cure Light Wounds, and I will hand it out to whoever cannot get as much healing as they need out of the lay, the lay on hands. I'm going to read the wording of channel, uh, channel positive energy. While he's doing that, I'm going to look at this treasure room. I'm rolling your loot as we speak. Oh, okay. <laughs> How much is a Cure Light Wounds? 1d8? Yeah. Yeah, 1d8 one. one. Uh, yeah, I could use some heals. I am more than... Blo What's a third of your health? Real sad. <laughs> I am real sad right now. <laughs> to be okay. fair, Beckfar didn't ask everyone else to follow. Also, in his defense, this is the best treasure room. I mean, Beck is fine, like... I'm almost up to bloody. I will die if something looks at me funny. Well, hide. Don't you have Every, Everything, <laughs> everybody within 30 feet of me heal for 7. Oh, I didn't realize that's how that worked. I wouldn't have drank the potion if that's... Uh, so, I heal for 7? I'm rolling gold. Yeah, he's rolling loot. Matt, her rolled healing. It's okay. Also, I learned how my damage reduction works, and I was doing it bad. Well, I'm doing cool, cool. good. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you heal us again? Or just the one? Just the once. So if anybody's really bad, I have one more lay on hand. I mean, you just got me, a, like, too bloody. I am from sad I think the bards are... I think both the bards are really messed up, too. We, we may need to visit town before we head into the rest of this dungeon. No, I've got this. Everyone, okay. Who's really bad? 
I mean, I'm well past bloody, but That's... the monster took no, the monster okay. took my constitution, so fortitude. Maher, heal thirteen. Oh dang! I think we should rest in the dungeon. That's a terrible idea. The boss has waited a hundred years for like adventures. It can wait another eight hours. That's how I died in my la in the last D David camp. I'll stay on watch. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. That <laughs> trap was bullshit. Oi, that trap was bullshit, and I feel bad about it all the time. Like I would have been. F I think I was just in a bad situation in general. Uh, I would have been a lot less sad about. It. Um, okay, uh, clearing up the airways a little. Uh, who else needs healing? Maher, are you still bloody? I am not bloodied, and even then, because the con no, the fortitude damage, it's- I'm close. Okay. I would accept more healing. Alright. Beck is still bloodied, but and only a little bit. 12. We have another potion of cure light wounds as well. Heal 12. Alright, that brings me to, like, I'm fine. Uh, I'd like a potion of heal. I'll drink the potion of healing, if that's alright. Yeah, that's fine. That'll leave me with two firsts. Okay. Then, yeah. It's 1d8 yeah, plus 1, right? Yeah. And I'll mark that off of here. Um, Zell, how, is, how are you doing? 61% approximately. 61% approximately. Begfar? Uh, Beck is slightly bloodied. Bloodied is one third or one half? One half. So I'm, I'm like just under half. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, you're fine. I don't give a yeah, shit. Yeah, I got tons you. of health. I realize I was over bloodied, but I still wanted the. I don't have too much, so the potion is. Also, I learned how my damage reduction works, so it'll probably be better now in the future. I thought I'm that. I'm going to hold off on healing anyone else for now. I mean, I can still do it later if we still need it, but. Yeah, let's figure out what our plan is, and then, uh... Also, are we actually... Do we have meta-knowledge of the final boss, or no? No meta-knowledge. We know that there was, uh... We knew that there was two large doors at the end of one corridor, uh, that was blocked off. We also so couldn't find a way through the portcullis. Well, it except makes sense for not to go that way until we have the entire party, so... Fair enough. Because I know exactly how I'd prep for it if we were allowed. Yeah, no, that's that's actually pretty good. That'll be a lot more helpful. Uh, David, you still rolling? Yeah, there's a lot of loot. Good. Beck has earned this. <laughs> Fireball was supposed to TPK. He wasn't expecting us to actually open the door. When every member of the party is a tank. <laughs> I am not a tank. You survived. I think you're the only person that didn't put a little bit of effort into tanking. Oh, I think Chris was. I put... Um, I have, like, a little bit of constitution. Oh, you lucky motherfucker. Yes? Yay. Is oh, we're getting under? under. Did... No, you're, you guys are not eligible for that kind of treasure. But, like, the items you're getting are pretty good. I'll, I'll tell you what you've got now, and I have to roll some more gold. <laughs> um, it's the deck. 1.1k gold. Nice. <laughs> oh, David can also put it in chat. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That's why I was like, oh, you lucky motherfuckers. I rolled the wand of pure life. <laughs> we could have rested. It would have been fine. I mean, you could still rest. I don't have to sleep. We have the blob warden. <laughs> I'm going to take the wand of cure light wounds and uh, get it when we're next in town. Start patching people up. No objections. Uh, yeah, does Wand of Cure Light use a plus one mod or my casting mod? Uh, plus one. Okay. Um, I'm gonna start with Zell. Oh, okay. Thanks. How you doing? Wow, Max. Thanks. How you doing after that? You look good. Uh, I'm fine. Or you still look a little shaky. I don't like I'm fine. Have another one. How many charges does it have? 50. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Unless it's partially used, David. 
Uh, it's a brand new wand. I'm feeling much better now. Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, Carbonics, how you, how are you feeling? I don't require much more healing. You can I heal me last if necessary. Questions. Okay. Um, Adric, how are you doing? Uh, Max, with my blood being taken and all. All right. Uh, Bekvar. About F. I could use the healing, yes. Okay, more stuff. Rare gem. How's that for you? Uh, five, nine, and four. I'm not full, but it'll do. Have another four. Wait, are we gonna heal to full? More or less. Okay, I'm one below my current max. Perfect. Uh, Dan? You good or you need another? If you want to top me off, otherwise I'm fine. You're not very chonky. I am almost almost exactly full. Okay. Oh, Rolled two tables too low. You guys get way more gold than that. Oh boy. <laughs> that was two tables too low? <laughs> uh, I'm, rolling one, I'm rolling to the last table, which is art objects. And I rolled three class one art objects. Rather than uh, three class three art objects. Gotcha. Okay, well, if we're going to do the boss after this, I guess I should heal a little more. But I'll wait till you're done with the rest of. Take four. Do you need another one? Who, to whom? To Zell. Oh! Um. I'm only a few off from Max now, so it's probably okay. Alright, that was nine uses of the Rod of Wonder. We went through 20% of it immediately after a quest. Rod of Wonder. That's what it was, yeah. I mean, yes. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Means we need to buy more of these. You know what, let's top it off at 10. Can I just get one hit out of it? Uh, so you guys get another 1,500 gold in art. Nice. There you go. Nine. Uh, that's way more than I needed. Awesome. Uh, and that is a horde type of loot. AKA the best kind of loot you can roll. So we got the one one point one K gold started. pieces in addition to fifteen hundred gold worth of art. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to And we also got like a ton of gold and gems as well. We got 280 gold worth of gems. Uh, David, are those gems retconned? Or yeah, the no? gems were the wrong table. Uh, no, the, the gems were right. The art was wrong. Oh, okay. Okay. So in total, we have one 1100 plus the um, 1500 plus the 280. So we got 2880 gold. Does Unless anybody... anyone wants to keep the art or the gemstones. Does anybody want the shield? I do not want the shield. Nope. I don't really have a use for it. Alright, then you would be able to sell it. Uh, what does, how does the dark wood shield? What's the... Um, like? Can I just look at it? It's just stuff? a wood shield instead of a metal shield. So it's I good do not for... need that, no. It gives it's, you... It so gives... It's... It's a steel heavy shield with no AC penalty, or with no um, skill check penalty. Yeah, it's basically a steel shield, except it's not technically steel and it has no armor check penalty. Oh, so that's pretty good for uh, you. Uh, well, Zell, you don't well, you Zell, don't have a shield and you uh, can't wear metal, right? This is correct. Well, that seems like perfect for you. I guess I could use it. How heavy is it? <laughs> it's not that heavy. Five pounds. Oh, okay. Okay. So currently you guys know there's a portacullis here and there's a door here. Mm -hmm. And assuming everyone's uh, handled and everything, I would run down to beat Breck and open the door. Don't open the door! I don't want another fire. It's not Breck. What did... Oh, I'm sorry. There's another door. He's a Breck. How? <laughs> I'm gonna stay very far away now from people opening doors. I'm gonna hide in the treasure room until they finish opening doors. 
There's another door. Do you want to open it? Yeah. I'm ready. There's a room. Found a room. Is there anything right. in here? When you walk into the room... Yeah. Trap. This is where the uh, gelatinous cube falls. Oh. No, I've learned my lesson. <laughs> I'm not doing that shit again. Uh, this ceiling collapses. Does it? The ceiling collapses. Yes. So okay. the entire ceiling is going to start falling at you. Sure. I'm going to hold my shield up. Um, and I'm guessing, do I get a reflex save to get it back into the other room? Uh, it's not a reflex save. This is an attack. Oh, okay. Sure. So 32 beats your AC. Fuck. So yeah. you're going to... That's high. A ceiling packs a punch. <laughs> Oof. And it hits everyone inside a 10 foot square which is this room so not me yeah just me just just robert that's me. fair 18 it's, damage it's way worse if you get this trap coming from the other direction because there is a door here yeah that hurt because you get it coming the other direction it still triggers on the same square but you have time to fill up the room all right, I'll open this door, not learning my lesson. Hey, it connects back to where you were. Whoa. Oh, seriously? Is there anything in here? Nope. So we still have to figure out how to surpass the portcullis. Is, is there a, really like a stone? door here, or is it just a wall? Oh, that's just wall. Okay, so yeah, it, it, we come back relatively. We wouldn't know that, though. Hey, Beckfar, can you deal with this? There's gotta be some so, other way. Are we are we aware that we're on the other side of that wall right now? I don't think I would be. <laughs> I feel like I would be. David, you want me to roll like survival to nah, know where I am? You're good. I make a hole. We walk through a hole. Okay. So uh, I meant a hole around the portacolis. Oh. I wasn't planning to do that yet. Do you wanna to, do you wanna just uh let Vren use uh, detect secret doors and just look through the entire thing to see if we missed any. No, so what I can do for the, the portcullis is um, I'll just lift like one, like put stone under one side of it and lift that up. Oh, wait a minute. That gives me an idea, actually. Um, David, I'm going to pull out a piece of shrapnel from like my pocket and put it underneath the portcullis. Sure. And then I'm going to touch it, and it turns into a pole that goes all the way up to the ceiling. Okay, with your metal growth ability? Yeah. <laughs> that I completely forgot about until just now. <laughs> I don't know if it would have enough strength to push this upward. Uh, maybe not up to the ceiling, but would I be able to push it up at all? Would it, would it help if Stoneshafe lifted the other side of the portcullis at the same time? You could combine your abilities to lift it. I'll give you that. Yes. Sweet. I'll work together with this man. With his Dwergar. Stones for days. Yeah. Teamwork. Lifts the portcullis.